Hello, friends, and welcome to High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons. This is the regular Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition campaign here on the Yogscast Twitch. I am your humble dungeon master, <coughs> and I am joined by Kim, Yo. Tom Hazel, Hello. Katie, Hello. and Chris Trot of Hat Films. Welcome, friends. Uh, big thank you to Zylas and Ravs for who were on the stream before us. It was Ravs' birthday today. Oh. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Ravs! Ravs. Um, I know he's a, he's, a, he's a keen High Rollers fan, watching Hello, every Scottish week. Hello, Scottish buddy. Um, and he loves his critical role as well. So, uh, thank you very much for the stream, guys. You can check those guys out before us every Sunday. Um, a couple of quick announcements before we get onto the recap. Um, the biggest one of which is Twitch VODs are now open to everybody, so you can watch uh, the episode right away if you miss it. No longer need to wait for Yogs Live anymore. So if you come in halfway, do let people know if they come in halfway that they can just Shit. go and watch the I'm gonna unsub. Huh? <laughs> oh cool, <laughs> thanks, thanks man. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus. What's the point? Uh, don't forget, you can <laughs> grab High Rollers <laughs> merch from the Yogscast store! That's store.yogscast.com, High Rollers. Um, we've got a bunch of the posters in there still. And Kim um, merch too. Kim merch, Tabletop Weekly merch, and Hat Films merch as well. But High Rollers merch! But High Rollers there. merch um, is the new one. We have a couple of Season 1 t-shirts actually, left, that Jane found in the office. And we, they're completely unavailable now, mm -hmm. but we are going to give them away. But we need to figure out the details for that <laughs> on okay. the break. Okay. Um, so basically, after the break, we'll be giving away yeah. a couple of shirts, high roll season one shirts. I think there's like a small and an extra large, so there's no real choice in size there. But uh, maybe we can sign them if you want, mm -hmm. or if you don't want them signed, then that's fine too. But we'll talk about that later. And hopefully, we will have a bunch of new merch just before London Comic Con. Uh, maybe a bit sooner as well. We're going to do a new T-shirt design. We're going to do a new poster. Maybe get a mug. Um, I'm going to draw it. You're Please fucking not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, yeah, there'll be a bunch of new merch for it. And then the last thing I want to say, don't forget to watch High Rollers Uncharted Territory, our spin-off show in sponsorship with Wizards of the Coast, for their new module, The Tomb of Annihilation. We just had a very dramatic episode on Friday. Yeah. Um, Hashtag no spoilers in chat. Uh, no spoilers yeah, in chat. So spoiler. uh, but now that the VODs are available, you can watch it right after this. <gasps> or you can watch it on the D&D &D one too. Or you can watch it on the D&D &D, uh, Twitch uh, and YouTube as well. Yeah, there's only six compared to a, a year and a bit's worth of high rollers. Plus so a Super quick a lot to easier catch to up catch on. Up. It was only two hours long as well, so yeah, it's only 12 sure. hours of content. Oh, only, uh, only, only 12 hours. And then lastly, uh, there, as Steve is kindly reminding me with a flash up on the screen, uh, there will be another soundtrack for high rollers coming very soon. Watch Steve's Twitter It'll probably be featuring else. some songs tonight, I imagine. I imagine that there will be some songs tonight. Apparently I have a tune. It's like a little storyteller's twinkly twinkly. I've listened Steve's to it, it's good. good. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Tom. Twinkle tunes. Nice, nice input. Thanks, buddy. Go. I'm just just as for Hazel. It's good. <laughs> it's real good. It's Are real, you still real here? good. Friend. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. Um, let's crack on with a recap. <laughs> Did you bring your little thing? You didn't bring him today. Oh, I think this is the first Raynor. time you haven't <gasps> brought your tiny. That means Raynard's gonna die. Shit, I've got to go. I need to go pick this up. <laughs> is it actually here in the office? Yeah, it's, it's in, in front of my monitor. The uh, little mini uh, Raynard. Get on the break. But he usually brings it in every week. He brings a tiny little Raynard. You're gonna die! <laughs> You're gonna good. die! Uh, recap before you all die. Um, our party of adventurers have journeyed to the ancient city of First Light. First Light was once the capital of the lands before the Dawn Republic, before the Lightfall. A majocracy that had incredible magical technology and alchemy with many strange and forgotten treasures. The party ventured into the city with their new ally, an artificer called Malady Jones and her construct companion, Hank. Sounds like a um, cool class. It's a pretty cool class on Unearthed Arcana. Uh, they also met up with Reynard Ferrohorn at the city gates and have made their way into the ancient ruin of the enormous metropolis in search of an Electrum core to power some sort of teleportation device. The party encountered a pack of arcane ghouls, undead creatures that suck the magical power from a person and explode when killed. The ghouls were feeding off a broken sentinel, a construct that patrolled the city. Um, after fighting the ghouls, the party rested whilst Malady recovered the core and a strange red mist descended over a portion of their city. Uh, Cam attempted to cast a cantrip in the mist and a strange reaction has caused to his skin to turn blue. Once the core was recovered, the party made their way yeah. to a transportation node, a set of teleportation devices stationed across the city. They bypassed a group of scavengers who had camped outside um, by tricking them, and then used the node 
to access a place called the Nexus. The Nexus is a pocket plane that allows the mages of old to travel all across the city. A broken island in a sea of nothing with strange crumbling ruins. Crumbling. Uh, as the party arrived, a strange metallic creature, a sphere of metal with tendrils and a force field, arrived. It questioned them, and when the party presented a signet ring in place of a seal, uh, the creature turned violent and a dangerous battle begun and we were yet to complete said battle. So, we jump straight into initiative at the top of a round. <coughs> it is indeed Reynard Ferrahorn himself. Oh man. Uh, Having been thrown, no, the, the Earth Elemental former Laura was thrown at yeah, you yeah. Um, and collided with a thing. That's Matt Cam, waiting. activate. What are you doing? That's Hank. I'm, I'm, I'm not da 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 da! <laughs> uh, so yeah, I dexterously avoided a launched elemental. He did. That's very odd. I mean, he's basically covered by four seals right now. And at both the back. the back, he's not. Yes, the force field basically is like almost like a half. It's like a bowl around his uh, front. Um, mm. It does not protect his rear. Half. He's also or covered in darkness. Full there is. Huh? It's not a full sphere. It's more like no, a. No, it's like a half sphere. It's like a motorbike uh, helmet. And it does cover below him as well. So it's always, it's like a literally half sphere with his back half. How exposed. far does it cover on top? Because Reynard did a. Justice we, ima- yeah, we kind of argued it that he angled it so it still right. kind of came from below. Okay. But yeah, it does cover some portion of the top. It would provide cover. Um, uh, there is also a 20 foot sphere of darkness conjured by Juto Tiefling Monk Extraordinaire. But I do Tiefling have Monk. Hunter's Mark on him, so I can see. You him. know his location. In the, Yeah, he's just a big old thing in his hair. Yeah. But you know that oh. the force field basically reflects, uh, it, no damage passes past the force field. I mean, it is a wall of force. I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna... You can climb on my back if you want. I just wanna... <laughs> oh. just like, There's like just a half gonna... crumbled <laughs> ruin. Um, you also remember that this place has very low gravity, making it easy to jump and sort of acrobatic. Your yeah, way and these, these things move around as well, don't they? When he, he does seem force. to be, he seems to have some sort of ability to phase himself out, out of existence. Five, ten, I'm just going to go here. Mm-hmm. Guess I can't really shoot him because of the force field. You, you reckon, you believe, well, the, the force field is currently covered by the darkness, but the last time it was the way it was facing. Yeah, um, and I'm going to get my Sorderino to go Axel. 10, 15, 20, Sorderino. 25, 30, and just, just surround Stop. him and just wait Stop for flanking. him. Yeah, I'm not going to even attempt anything. Okay, so the Nexus, uh, it is currently in darkness. It will have to move, so it shall. Uh, the force field pushes him. Wait, it's called the Nexus? Yes. Or in the it's pocket called plane? The ne- it's called the Nexus Guardian, is what it says. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, it actually pass much further over into the middle to get out of the darkness. On top it of hovers it. above oh. Juto. <laughs> uh, it's kind of, it, you see it kind of merging out of the darkness, kind of coming out of the sphere like the prisoner. Uh, it's force field kind of pushes Hank away. Uh, Juto um, and Malady, give me just a reflex save. How come the force field doesn't reflex as well? Dex, I mean. Uh, dexterity, yeah. God, I slipped into reflex. fourth edition D&D for some reason there. Reflex save. Well, Would evasion do anything with that? Um, um, maybe. Make a saving throw. 13 plus 8. Yes. No, sorry, 19 plus 8. Where would you like to be? 20. More than enough. Seven. That's very high. Well done. Um, <laughs> where would you like to be? So you kind of sense this force would coming towards you, and you can either move along with it and get yourself into a position, uh-huh. or you can slip under it, or you can kind of like almost roll underneath the force field. I want to go behind him. Okay. So basically, yeah, you kind of stay where you are, yeah. effectively. Okay. But behind him. Malady is unfortunately pushed out. But behind him. Um, well, this is more. You either can keep your position, or you can yeah. be pushed by. It, basically, you, you don't. You are underneath it, and you are. The force field no longer applies. Um, Hank and Malady sadly push out. Uh, it does move and then it will. One, two, three, four. It's got six targets actually. Five, six. Um, one, two, three, four. I'm real big! Five, six. Six being Malady. Okay. Uh, one I beam shoots out at Hank actually. Yeah, that's all right. Hank. Hey. Um, Expendable. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he can be rebuilt. <laughs> we can rebuild him. That's fair. We uh, have you the see technology. a kind of thick greenish ray um, ensorce all around uh, Hank's legs, and it looks like he's struggling to move, but then poosh, he kind of pulls his legs free. Oh. Um, two more, uh, one main cannon, one other ray fires out, target one, two. Elora 
Uh, okay, make a dexterity saving throw, please. I, I succeeded! I, I think... Did you? It's a 19. Maybe? 18? Plus. 18? Yeah, so you feel this ray... Um, I didn't roll you, a 1. <laughs> the, the rock elemental kind of shunts itself to the side as this uh, pinkish ray sails across your shoulder. Um, and then finally, one, two, three, four, five, six. Elora, once again, yes. um, its main eye glows and it fires its primary cannon, which is an attack roll. Uh, that's a 22 to hit. Yes. That's 14 force damage as this main cannon, like a laser, fires out towards you. Um, and then that is its go completed. Uh, Cam Bucklando. How does everybody look from this position in terms of scraps? Scratches, scrapes, bruises, uh, you injuries. You knew Melody had gone, you and Melody are kind of lying next to each other on the ground. Um, she had been injured, but she quaffed some sort of potion and her wounds have knitted back Classic together. Classic quaffing. I don't know the re how the rest are currently looking. I'm like half injured. Where's uh, you two? Oh, you're up there. Hello. Okay, I'm going to cast aid. So, 30 feet range. Uh, spell bolts as your allies. Uh, choose up to three. Each target's hit point maximum. So I'm going to increase the level of this to mm -hmm. fourth level to get four people. So I'm going to get Chuto. I've only taken 11 damage, so I'm going to get... I don't think he can reach you. Me and Ma Marmalade. <laughs> Marmalade. Okay. Lady Marmalade. And... Fuck it, Reynard, too. Oh. Can Three, you reach him? 10, 15, 20. Oh, he might just be out, actually. What about Hank? Mm. Fuck You're Hank. in this square, <laughs> technically. You're in this one. It's 30 feet, so... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Just... I guess I'll scrape Reynard. Scrape! Oh, gee. Thank so... you. Just a waft. Okay. So, what's the oh, effect? Wait, no, no, it's not that. It, I have to only do three, and it increases... So, if I do it at a fourth level, uh, the hit points increase by an additional five for each slot but two. Okay. So, if I do it at fourth level, it's an extra 10 HP. Yes. Which I can't... Oh, that's what I can do. So that is... So who are you doing it on if you can only do three? Uh, I'm going to do... Me, <laughs> Juto, mm. and Marmalade. Okay, and how many hit points? It is now... 15. 15. It does not affect Juto. Uh, the barrier is in front of Juto as well, um, and the spell... But it reflects off through. and hits me. All right, so me and Marmalade yeah. will get 15. 15 Apparently it acts as uh, actual HP as well. It so it can be healed back up. Oh, okay, interesting. For eight hours. Oh, it's, it increases your maximum hit points. It's temporary hit Correct. points. Yeah. No, well, it's not right? technically. It's temporary hit points you can't oh, heal, but can't it will okay, go okay, away after eight stop. hours, but you can heal it back up. Right. It's temporary That's, permanent hit points. That's excellent. Um, <laughs> that is Cam's go. I reread it. Uh, Hank. Comes sailing round and jumps up in the air, makes a swinging attack with his fists. Uh, first one is going to miss, unfortunately, it clangs off the armor. The second one, however, hits uh, for five, six, seven, eight, nine points of damage. Uh, you can just hear like a solid metal as the giant robot leaps up and punches it in the back. It's a nice uh, sound effect, don't worry. <laughs> uh, I thought so. After Hank's go, however, the uh, creature fires a random cannon. Um, I can't find that one. Um, one, two, three, four, six, one. Cam Buckland. Uh, give me a strength saving throw, please. Oh, this is my favorite. 17. 17. Um, you feel like you're trying to get a grip on your body and you kind of latch onto the sort of ground on the flagstones and you can feel it trying to pull you away, but you're like, no! Stop it! Uh, as it Stop. desperately tries to telekinetically fling you across the map. Um, Elora. Yay! I just want to move around and smash it. Okay. Move yourself. Move thyself. Uh, I can't see. How many can you move me? Five, ten, thirty feet. Fifteen. I, I can get 20, beside it. You can. It is quite high up in the air. You will need to give me an athletics to try jump, but it is. Um, I'm tall. You are right. this thing is fifteen foot up and then it is also flying above Juto. It's about twenty five feet in the what air. What heck is that? Uh, make an athletics check, so it's a strength-based one. You're pretty strong. Oh, technically you have advantage because of the zero G as well. Twelve. Sixteen? Yeah, with a zero G that's enough. You kind of launch yourself up, 
part of the movement, smash down. So now I make an attack. Yep, well. you can make an attack. Oh, this is a lot of rolls. Uh, uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Your elemental fist slams, but the metal seems to rebuff the attack. I'm going... No, I'm not going to use. Are you sure you don't? Are you going to use luck? Yeah, I'm going to use luck. Fine. So that's the second luck, I think, for today. Oh, no. It's rumbling. Stop using that dice. That I've dice used sucks. every fucking dice I own, and it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, after Laura, Juto. Can I angle myself? I can't shield anyone from not here. Not really. Um, You're currently angle. underneath this thing. Is there like oh. a thing, like a I weak hate spot? Dice. Like a glowing red dot that's Do you like... want to check? Um, well, I remember last episode Melody said something about getting on its head. Mm -hmm. Can you remind me what that was? Because uh, Juto would have heard it. She would have heard it, but can Juto remember it? Well, yes, because it's like five seconds ago, not a week ago. Uh, you remember that she said something she can try and meddle with it, mm. uh, but more in terms of her skill as an artificer. Okay. Um, you can check for a weak um, spot if you like. What does it look like? Does it look like it's a, the... a metal sphere? Yeah. Um, it, it's like shunt, like metal plates, but it's been crafted into a perfect sphere. A single large glass-like eye, eye, like a laser cannon eye, and then it has tendrils coming off it. It looks very beho like a mechanical beholder. Okay. Can I? But instead of an anti-magic field, it has this force field in front of it. Can I clamber up it? And go for some of the tendrils, like trying to cut the tendrils you can try. off. Yeah. I would also like to stunning strike as well, so I can mm -hmm. try and stun it. Well, stunning strike is in place of an attack, so you wouldn't be able to cut off tendrils and stunning strike. If I do a stunning strike on a tendril, will that still? Maybe. Can I climb up it? Yes, you can try that. Do a stunning strike on the main dude, bro. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> my second attack on. A tendril, mm -hmm. and flurry. Am I allowed to flurry? No, stunning. Stunning strike is a whole action, so you yeah, be able to do two whole attacks. Actions, yeah, so. so you wouldn't get the extra attack. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, st when you hit another creature. If it's when you hit a creature, then yes, it's part of a normal yeah, attack, a normal so you would thing. be able to unarm strike. Yeah, and then an well. extra attack, and then unarm strike flurry. Flurry. So you want to try and climb up on this thing. So the first thing is that's going to be an athletics or an acrobatics check to see if you can grip, get a grip onto it. Advantage? Uh, low yep. grav? You have advantage for the low grav. It doesn't really help with the climbing, but it helps you kind of get the initial jump. 18. Okay. You manage to kind of like push yourself up and you grip uh, onto these metal plates. And there are like hinges and like the parts where it's obviously being screwed and plated together that you can kind of clamber up onto um, to make your normal attack. This is with Stunning Strike. I will give you strike. a hidden bonus for being attached to it. Uh, this uh, is so this is a normal attack and then you can choose when you hit to do a Stunning Strike. That's how Stunning Strike works. Okay, I would like to do a normal attack <laughs> and Stunning Strike him. Okay. Constitution saving throw. Well, you need to hit first. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Okay, so that's going to hit. Nice. Um, yeah, it, the Stunning Strike, you kind of punch into metal used to like acupuncture and nerves, not quite sure if this thing has any, no, it doesn't. You still do damage, but it doesn't seem to stun the creature. 10. 10 points. Plus poison? No, no poison. It is a metal creature. Poison How? tends to only really affect living creatures. How damaged does it look? Uh, you can see that there are scuff marks, blast marks, um, dents, but it's difficult to tell with this okay. kind of creature. Tendrils um, now. Okay, so make an attack roll. And then tell me what you get on the actual dice roll. 20. Uh, you cut into it, but the, the metal, you do hit and you cause damage, but not enough power to sever a tentacle or anything like that. But I'm damaging it. Yeah, you still damage it as normal. Okay. But yeah, it's, you would need to strike extremely precisely, perhaps critically, to be able to try and sever <laughs> off <laughs> tentacles. What does it mean? 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 points? What's he trying to tell us? Okay. 11. So you kind of bring the Guandao up on a second strike, uh, one-handed, so you kind of have to swing it a little bit differently. Um, bed, it beds into the metal, the, ma the magical blade cutting down into a gash between the joints. And then, yeah. and then you're going to make two unarmed strikes, okay? Like, maybe try and... still attacking it. Okay. Uh, flurry, uh, blah. 19. 19 hits, yep. Yeah. The fist, you kind of, your key-empowered strike, BAM! 
You dent the metal. Eight. Okay. And then one more. And then one more. I'll do two, four attacks. Thirteen. Nuts. Uh, thirteen plus eight. Thir thirteen plus eight, yes, that's going to be twenty-one. Twenty-one, yeah. It's ten. Ten more points, okay. So, Juto launches up, grabs on with one hand, hacks away with the Guandao, kicks it, punches it, and you can see that her blows, all of which are damaging the creature. It kind of, you watch as part of the metal conclave, the strikes kind of take deep gashes out of it and everything else. Um, as you do, once you finish attacking it, it is going to fire a beam at you. Um, can it damage itself? No, it does not seem to be. Can you give me a uh, wisdom saving throw, please? Can I evasion it? No, not wisdom. Dexterity only. E evasion is kind of like cool explosion and you dive out the way in slow-mo ability. Twenty. Twenty. You feel this ray, this kind of sickly green ray hit you and you feel this kind of wash of fear run over you, but that soon quickly fades. Um, Question. Yes? Can I hellish rebuke? Uh, no, because that is, requires you to be hit by an attack, not a spell-like effect. So this was a saving throw, not an attack hit him. Uh, so the uh, you feel this fear wash over you, but you you resist it. You don't you aren't affected by it basically. Uh, Malady is good. Uh, Malady will crawl over to Cam, trying to stay low on the ground. <laughs> she um, rolls around yeah, pretty much. She <laughs> crawls over drawing. to you, touches. You've got like armor on, haven't you? She touches your armor and she's My just like. Buckler. You seem to be the only one who can heal, so um, she touches your armor. You are resistant to force damage oh. for one hour. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh. I feel tingly. And then she positions herself behind you, <laughs> in between you and the creature. It's best you don't think that I'm going to stay here. <laughs> I'm going to go wherever. I'm basically wherever you go. I'm going to go. Oh, you don't want to follow me, okay? <laughs> she can fly. Uh, she can fly. I forgot about that actually. Yeah, in that case, yeah, she can fly. Okay, she's going to fly. Okay, where you go? Where you going? She's on top with me now. She's actually, she can't do what she wants to do because she's using an action on cam, so she's got to fly up in the air about here. Um, just trying to stay out of the way. Uh, that is to end of the round or Thank you. Uh, we need to get those clear plastic ones that yeah. the uh, crit rolls. She's off the screen. She's that high. Um, Raynard Farrah. Uh, okay. Um, I Thanks, want Steve. to... <laughs> So if I did, uh, what's it called? Yes, it's it called is. Hail of Thorns, the one that the one is a concentration, so I'll lose my Hunter's Mark. But when I hit it, the next time I hit it, while Hail of Thorns is on, it like explodes outwards. Would that also hit Hank and everybody else around it? It would hit any creature. <laughs> Including me. Hmm. But I mean, I want to... Oh, I guess she's it. currently like on it. She's like holding on, like punching it while she's gripped onto That's the side. That's annoying because it's super powerful at level three I and I wanted to metal. do it, but... <laughs> ah! uh, could I... Because Melody said she was going to get on it and I was like, well, I won't do that. Could I, um, I don't know, do like an insight check or something just to see if there's anything that's particularly weak or... Yeah, sure. Perception check. More Perception. Like. 20. <laughs> um, looking around, the natural, the, 20. The, natural <laughs> 20, the metal of the creature itself, like its sphere body, I mean, it's solid looking steel, like the heavy, even the heavy blows um, from like the earth elemental are, you know, really struggling to puncture it. Yeah. You suspect the most vulnerable part of its body is the glass eye. Um, but unfortunately, for the most part, that's protected by the force field. But that right. looks like if you, if you could target that, that seems to be its weakest point. Okay, and I guess it's facing that way right now. It's currently facing, yeah, that way, so Wherever it's actually kind of facing right. directly forwards. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm just going to look there. So would I be able to shoot past Earth Elemental, force field, reflect back at the eye? <laughs> Is it a physical thing? Oh, You might be able to. I like it. I've got two attacks. Uh, you look. If not, I'm going to shoot it in the back of the head. Okay. Just so goes first straight shot, up, and you're like, me I'm going to ricochet shot this. Ricochet shot. Okay, so disadvantage, first things first. Mm. Okay. Uh, so that's that's 22. 22. Um, I'm trying to think about the... Ridiculous. It would work. The wall of force doesn't impede its attacks, but it is still a wall of force on both sides. So yes, it bounces off the wall and ricochets into the creature. It doesn't hit it in the eye, but you still deal damage. 
Oh, actually, uh, so I get a bonus from a hunter's mark. Extra hunter's mark, 1d6 extra. 1d6 and also 1d8, which is that one. So that's... 11 plus your bonus. 16. 16 points, okay. A ripple of golf clap. So the... <laughs> and it kind of gets into the armour, um, into the metal finding purchase. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> okay, second shot, so disadvantage for the Ricker Saint. 19, Ricker shot. 6, so 17. 17. This one, unfortunately, you kind of mistime it. <laughs> the Ricochet just bounces off up into the air. Damn it. Um, doesn't quite hit. And also my sword dudes, you know. You fly an Axul in. Yeah. Hit in the eye. Okay. So that's... Attack with Axul, with your scimitar. Axul! Uh, 12, 20. Yep, that's going to hit. Axel manages to find a, a chink in the armour. One d six. Oh god. Uh, so five. Do I get Hunter's Mark bonus or? No. No. I would argue that only you get Hunter's Mark. Okay. So that's um, yeah, just. Yeah, he just kind of chips away at some of the metal plating. Um, on its go, it phases from existence. Oh, I just Aww. positioned myself. Juto, here. you fall, but you have slow fall, don't you? Yes. Yeah, you take nothing. <laughs> you basically fall down on top of the thing. Um, it I wonder where it's going to reappear. Reappears there. Yeah. <laughs> it's perception. Um, um, can Juto Earth Elemental would be in that square as well? Um, so yes. can Juto and Earth Elemental make dexterity saving throws, please? Twenty. Eleven. Twenty. Eleven. <laughs> Due to the one with evasion. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You're, still, you're going to take half damage. You mm -hmm. fail, so you take half. Cam, what did you get? 20. 20. You're going to take half. Elora, you're taking full damage from yep. this. Um, does anyone have any spare d6? Yeah. I mean, you're not allowed. Uh, if I can get. That's right. I'll just do two lots of five. What? What? <laughs> um, not that much? No. Ten, Don't do that. One. It's going to be. You're all dead. You're resistant to force, right? It's resistant, so you take another half of this. Okay, so, so half, half. 34, cool. halved is 16, mm -hmm. so you take 8, you're taking 16. Nice. You're taking 34. Thanks, my um, As this huge kind of blast erupts from its main cannon, um, as it flows down yeah. the thing. Um, and that is okay. its go, yeah. Cam Buckland. All oh, right. Hello, Tribute. You. No, actually, no. no, no, I'm over there. I forgot, it's over it's there. It's only a range as well. Also, once again, I think you can't do it on saving throws, only on attacks. That is oh, a, yeah. yeah. it's a saving throw. So I got up. Okay. Fuck, fuck. fuck. <laughs> fuck. Did you get up? <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen. <laughs> I crouched behind the stairs. I like, crouch. Eh, eh. But I face my dear friends, and I bestow upon them my natural twenty. And from it, I give them. So you drop trowel. A beacon ah. of hope. <laughs> beacon of hope, 30 feet range. Any number of creatures within range, it bestows hope and vitality. <laughs> what does that do? So, for the duration, which is one minute concentration, which means my spiritual weapon, boop, uh, you have advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws and regains the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. Okay, so you're all... So oh your god, action. someone heal me. Uh, I'm going to bonus action healing word Juto. Nice. So what, what level are you casting it at? I'm going to cast maximize it at... <laughs> uh, third level. Third level, so that's 3d4 plus your whiz, so that's so 8, 12, 12 um, plus oh, yeah. your wisdom. You don't need to roll, it's max points. Plus my whiz is yeah, if it's like four. full healing, so surely you can just use a level one heal spell on me. Yeah, but I want to do more. Well, 16. Yeah, it's 16. the Not difference rather between have 16. getting eight, or no, what was it with your thingy? Four. 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 So it's the difference between getting eight and getting 16. 16, I doubled it for you. Yeah. Okay. 16 HP. 16. 16 HP. 16 HP gains. Oh wait, um, spiritual weapon's not concentration. No, but the spiritual guardian, I think. Spiritual guardian goes. Yeah. Not that it's been much use. Um, but I bonus actioned anyway, so I can't move it. No, you can't. Uh, hmm. How injured is... Hmm. It's seeing you heal. It's going to fire a beam at Cam Buckland. Does he have any cover from being ducked? Uh, I will give you... 
It's a constitution saving throw, but it is still a beam. Let's say you can have a plus two bonus. Oh, so kind. Technically, you shouldn't get any cover saves to a constitution saving throw, so I am being kind. Constitution saving throw. Shit. <laughs> uh, six? Six. 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 You haven't got D8. Uh, oh, sorry. eight, sorry. Because of the plus two. Serious? Cannonballs. Thank you. <laughs> the floor is dice now. Yeah. Oh god. Jane Capulet. Oh jeez. What kind of damage is it? Wait, what's it firing at you? Uh, a beam yet. of shit, yes. Uh, necrotic energy, a black lance of crackling energy. Um forty two points of necrotic <gasps> damage. He's out then, isn't he, right? That's me down. <laughs> Do have you used Lightborn today? Uh, no. no. Okay, so uh, you watch as this kind of life force hits Cam and there is a sudden sort of like crackle. Um, his body nearly crumbles, uh, but his... Was that a disintegration <laughs> effect again? Uh, his hair health. <laughs> bursts sake. into golden light um, and you are now at one hit point Jesus instead. You are still Christ. prone, however. <laughs> Just quit. No. I sensed fur. That was its uh, dynamic a different action. dimension. Uh, As if two people in parallel it's have gay. the same problem. So was that was that a disintegration? Uh, yeah, probably was. You don't know. It wasn't actually disintegration. I'd like to roll inside. I wonder how that was, please. <laughs> Forty-two damage. Can only get to there. So if she flies, has she got a fly speed that's greater? Uh, yeah, sixty. No. She's just got sixty. I mean, she can double it again. She can basically move here, but then she has no action. So, and then Hank just goes. Hank is actually going to move up and stand sort of in front of. Okay. Does going down and coming back up lose my spiritual weapon? It's not concentration. You know, you don't. You would go to one instead. So no, it doesn't. We're going to argue that it doesn't. You don't lose it. I don't know why I asked. Um, it's not concentration. Otherwise, I would have made you make your concentration save. Of- 42 points of damage. Uh, Elora. You can see now that from the various blows, the, the bolts puncturing it, it does look like it's kind of shuddering and shimmering. I hope um, so. The, ac- the actual construct is. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, it looks badly damaged. How far away am I there? Do you have far. like an earth travel thing? It doesn't travel any further. It There's just lets me do just it jump. under. What I did. If I jump, do I think I can travel far? If you did a running jump, you would gain momentum, yes. Thanks like to low gravity. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Jump at it, curl can I board. try and running jump and like cannonball it? Actually, okay. I was joking. Yeah. That's a terrible idea. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Athletics. <laughs> well, athletics, what's so the strength? Use a different D20. Oh, no. <laughs> But it helps. helps. You like potentially roll good ones, but then it just tips yeah. at the last second. I've got magnets. Fuck under. my life. Really bad. Ten. Okay, so you can only move your movement speed. She's jumped off the island. So I move. <laughs> You're no help. So I, yeah, you shut up, Tom. Sorry. You don't lose anything, but you do not gain any additional momentum. You kind of land a bit too early. The jump isn't quite powerful enough. You're a bit too heavy. Um, but she's a boulder, doesn't she roll? So move yourself forward. You really shouldn't speed. body shame her. Uh, I know she's a big rock elemental, but you shouldn't. Yeah. You know. well, I didn't body shame. I just said she's a bit too heavy. <laughs> I'm on that corner square, but I can't fit my baby. <laughs> You're kind of like just pounding on this force field, like <laughs> unable to get through to the creature. Um, it's going to take its second DCA on you. Oh, let's see which thing. Uh, constitution saving throw, please. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. Nineteen. <laughs> you feel it try and lock you in place again, like kind of keeping your legs from moving, but uh, you break free of the spiel. Great. Um, I rolled above a ten for once. <laughs> Juto. If I did a running jump, <laughs> I've got to stop suggesting things. Could I get on top of it again? Probably you have 50, much further. Fifty can move further than I can. Yeah, yeah, with a running jump. Yeah, I would like to off a podium as well. Yeah, running yeah. jump, like onto yeah. it again. With advantage, athletics or acrobatics with advantage. 
What does Laura get? Advantage on strength. I am on strength. Yeah. Huge. Natural but twenty. No. Actually. You mean like for the jumping? Yeah. Um, she would have. I think that the other mental, the weight. Well, I suppose lower G's wouldn't affect it. You would have done. Well, would I? Mm, never mind. Would what? I would like you to never mind. I haven't done anything. anything. It's another person's go. I know, but I haven't done anything. Natural twenty. Juto sails. Oh, no. I'm so depressed. Are you landing on it or behind it? On it. Okay. Me. Like kind of the same place I was before. Just give me a, another acrobatics check. Advantage or not? Uh, not on this one. This is to kind of catch hold of it. See if it can shake you off. 19. Yeah. You managed to just like literally grab one of the tendrils, swing round, hook yourself onto the creature itself. Uh, attack creature, stunning strike. Yep. Just make an attack with me. Stunning. 10, 11. Does that count uh, as It doesn't go through the thick metal plate, it's just like... Mm. Or a creature. Attack mm. number two. Don't forget object. to spend key points it's to be strikes. What do you do at the okay. end of the round? Okay. Uh, I think it's a construct rather than an object. Right? What is? Does it count as an object? This counts as a construct. 17. Mm. Grind down just bounces off the metal once again. Flurry. Okay. Keep hitting that shit. I didn't call you shit. I mean, hit Natural that one. Shit. Wait, was that a paralyzing <laughs> effect, by the way? It was a restraining effect. Never mind. <laughs> oh, my beacon of hope. 19! Wiped out, didn't it? Because I had a mental one. Well, 10 of you should make a concentration check to see if it's like yeah. 49, isn't it? It's like, very high. <laughs> what if I get a nat 20? 19. I got a nat 20. You got a nat 20! <laughs> then the beacon of hope is still in effect. No way! <laughs> cool. You're like, <laughs> you just barely managed to hold on to this spell. Sorry, Kim, what was that? 19. On to hit? Yes. <laughs> yes, that hits. And two... I wish I could just Six. say natural 20 and Six roll one. one. Yep. Hold the second presence. today. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you just managed like, you, you're bl- striking this creature with blows, but the metal is just rebuffing your attacks, and eventually you just kind of get one, like, solid elbow. You strike, like, a weak point between the plates, bending them inwards. You strike, like, a weak point, Kim. Good job. <laughs> Only this roll. Last roll, I did loads of damage. Reynard Ferrahorn. Oh, fuck. I mean, what can I do from over here? I mean, you have a range of 100 feet yeah. without penalty. Yeah, but it's got a but barrier can... that's like... Mm. I mean, if anybody can think of some sort of cool green arrow trick shot, trick Tom shots. Hazel, okay. I'm sure trick that you shots. can. The edge of the island, mm-hmm. did you say that was force fielded off, or is it literally just expanse? Do you remember seeing a force field? Now, it's a force field. <laughs> I want to curve it around the... No, okay. The, um... <laughs> you want to, I'm going to swing my crossbow like the film wanted, wanted yeah. and curve the bomb. <laughs> I'd like to curve my bullet, please. Um, what a film. Is the force field... Do. Is it like a rising force field from the base of the from island? From the base of the island and it curls up into a dome. Oh, I didn't realise there was a dome on the roof. But what I mean, is it, is it actually like cool. a surging... like the Very high, like 100 feet up. Right, gotcha. But like... Is it a field that is like it's emanating and then rising upwards? Yes. Does it look like the same field as his? No. No. Different. Different magic. It's different. No. So if I were to call Axel back to me, mm-hmm. wedge it into the force field if possible, mm-hmm. would it pull me up? Oh, I see what you're asking. Huh? You don't know. It won't, will it? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Is I'm gonna it try strong it. Enough? So you call Axel back, is Axel within range? Uh, I think so. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then you turn around. <laughs> oh Holy my shit. god. And it begins pulling you up. It's very slow. Uh, so I'm about like here now. It gets, you get about 20, 30, you get about 20, 25 feet, but it looks like it has, it's 100 feet up and then the whole length of the dome and then it would need to curl around the other side. Okay. It's I'm, I'm a bit there shorter right now. than that, but yeah. It's just taking the elevator. Yeah. Sorry. You're like hopping <laughs> on, you're like, ha ha! I'll be there in a few hours, guys. Um, uh, if you can fire your crossbow one-handed, you can ooh. still try. I mean, well Tom, try it, you ridiculous. Just do yeah, it. but I don't just think do I'm going to get it past the Just do it, why not? Just do it. in action. Just do it. Why not? 12. Uh, that's, that's 23. Are you trying to aim behind it or ricochet or something? Because if you're just shooting at you it, yeah, the force field's going to absorb it. I'll ricochet off the back wall. Okay. Off the no. backboard. It does not seem to work the same way. As soon as the bolt hits the shaft, like very much like your sword, it gets carried up. 
Oh, mm. I'll cash that in a bit then. <laughs> it's actually kind of going east coast time, <laughs> and it's coming towards you. All right. Yeah, uh, that's that's it. That's that your go. turn. It's go. Let's see if that big. The, oh, it has recharged. Uh, oh, great. <laughs> but it's got a few of you here. Get marmalade. No. It does not like Kim. No, I'm really big and threatening, though. I'm on its head. Yeah, it's going to try and shake you off, I think. Struck me this uh, forehead, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't smash me. Um, it's going to keep its force field in the place because it knows that you're on it. It is going to. It's actually just going to fire three beams at Kim. What? Trying to get you off. So the first one, uh, wisdom saving throw, please. Kimberly. And then do I have advantage because of... Wisdom oh, saving yeah. throw, you have advantage because we have hope. Well remembered. What a hopeful person. 15. 15 with advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not enough. You feel this kind of wash of fear take hold of you. Um, you have the sudden desperate need to be as far away from this thing as possible. Uh, you, The sight of it fills you with an utter dread that makes your hands and feet tremble. Um, and on your turn, you must spend your action to move away from it as much as possible. Any attacks against it have disadvantage. Except. Are you immune to fear? I have a thing. I'm well, not yeah, on your fear, turn, you can I get rid of it. A thing, yeah. yeah, on your turn, you can get rid of it. Uh, the second beam, uh, this is a constitution saving throw, please. You don't have advantage on that. I'm afraid. 18. 18, okay, we're going to take half damage from this. Uh, I need to borrow some d4s again. Uh, the same black necrotic ray that hit Cam uh, goes to strike you. Oh, him. Christ. Oh, Christ. Oh. Christ, mate. Crikey. You're going to take 20 necrotic damage. Um, is that half? That is half already. Uh, this black energy just sucks the very life essence from you as it hits you. Um, are you still up? Mm -hmm. Strength saving throw for the last beam. Oh Don't say fuck Eleven. Away. Eleven. You feel like as this kind of draining like energy washes over you, you feel like yourself suddenly weakened, almost sick. Like this other pinkish beam hits you, and you feel this great force lift you off its back and throw you in the air. Um, it launches you with telekinesis. Uh, you have slow fall, however, so you just oh, okay. poof, you take no damage, but it throws you off a bit. I'm over there now. Uh, once again, <laughs> it has not attacked you. You've only made it saving. It's throws. made me feel bad, okay? It's made you feel very bad. How long um, you, uh, are you feared for? Can buckle. Until, until, until she gets oh, rid of <coughs> You can save at the end of your turn, but she has a thing where she can get rid of Excuse me, Hank. <coughs> you can just automatically get rid of it. Please touch me. Do you want to touch yourself? You've got like. Beacon of Hope. I've got to use my. Yes. Uh, Please. Healing word, Duto. Four. Level three. So another 16, maximized. Yeah. Plus, yeah, 16. Yep, 16 HP. That's bonus. And my action will be to, can I use an action as a bonus action? Healing word. You can use an action. I revoke yeah. that shit. I'm going to mass healing word at level three. Is that an action? Yeah. Okay, it's mass healing word not higher. Or does it come at different? It's fourth level. It's third level. Is it? Oh, sure. Third level evocation. Uh, it's a range of 60 feet. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Pretty much hit everybody but Reynard. I'm going to do it at fourth level though, which means an extra d4. So it's 2d4 plus spellcasting ability modifier. So 8 plus thingy, so 12. So everybody but Reynard gets 12 hit points back. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, but Beacon Hope's 30 feet, so. Huh? Hmm. So I can't max out for everybody. Is Beacon Hope still active, or do you kind of like pulse out and then anybody who was within the Oh, that, I feet, guess, I don't know. I think it doesn't it, we'll, go with the, we'll go with that, uh, that which would include bang? everybody. Yeah. Plus 12. Yeah, yeah instead of the 16. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets 12. You didn't get 16. Take 16 off it. Yeah, I changed the heal saws. Yeah, you changed it. Um, so yeah, this kind of pulse of healing magic washes out over from Cam, um, restoring runes to everybody but Reynard. Who's yeah. like, ha ha! I'm still just flying up here, flying you guys. Flying up in the sky, um, soaring over the top. <laughs> That's Cam's go. Yep. 
No. I'm don't. trying to decide. Don't do anything. I'll roll a d4 between you and you two. Oh, One, two, three, four. You're not really hurting him at the moment. I'm fucking useless. Juto. Uh, let's see what kind no. of beam it is. Big beam. That is going to be a dexterity saving Ooh, throw. Ooh, evasion. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, it, I don't know why it's dex, but yes. It doesn't have an on half effect, so it won't make a difference. 17. Oh. 17. You feel this kind of uh, ray of almost like a bluish light. You feel your body slow down for a moment, but then using your key, you kind of shake it off, feeling as if it was about to try and slow your movements and your uh, your body functions. Um, slow piss. Melody flies on top of it and is going to attempt to tinker with it. Um, she was hiding behind me moments ago, and now she's she on like, it. <laughs> she like flies onto it and she pulls on these goggles and she pulls out these various instruments and tools and you can see her kind of like trying to unscrew bits of metal and like peer inside. Um, oh, this is a lot more complicated than I actually realised. Um, I'm going to need some time with this. Uh, and then she's trying to Take fly all the time around we need. <laughs> uh, struggling. Hang on, this is going to go. Bleh. Don't stand on me. And stands in between the two of you like... That high hack. He just nods down at you. <laughs> Shakes Hello. his little head. Uh, Laura. Is it floating? Yes. How high? It floats um, normally about 10, 15 feet off the ground. Can I? Yes. Can I try and pull it down and like can I try and restrain some of the tendrils so that so they can't move fire at the force anyone? Field and then grab, try and grab. Like them. I want to try. Can I try and point all the beams at yourself? <laughs> take all. I want to try and sort of disable the it using okay. the tendrils. Off. Strength check. Nice. <sighs> what is it? Is that a natural one? No, it's a seven plus. Well. 12, that's still enough. This is it? Like, it's not strong. It's very powerful, but it's not strong. You manage to grip it. You, you can't point them at itself, but you restrict no, it so, so it, can, it, it can pretty much only target you at this point. Can I restrict it so that it like doesn't target anyone, like point it yeah, off, basically, off I, to that side? It, it can hit you, but it would struggle to hit anybody else. So I can't make it not hit me as well? The tendrils are very flexible, like they completely can move cool. around. Even if you hold it at its point, it would still be able to strike your okay, arm. Okay, but have like I got that. all of them? I will say you have got. How many tendrils does it have? It has actually? six. Right. Um, let's roll some percent. See how many. How many? One hundred. Uh, you have four of them. Where's can it? I punch it too? Mm, yes, but only the once. You have to give up one of your attacks to grapple. I'd say. <laughs> 25. You the blow connects, roll damage. I can do a thing, guys. One. <laughs> One damage. <laughs> Probably. That, don't even joke. Because it's got like a plus five strength or something. <laughs> <laughs> a one and a two. Fuck <laughs> <Stop> my life. <laughs> How much damage total, please? Fucking eight. Eight points of damage. I hate, I hate <laughs> everything. Uh, you kind of slam the metal fist in, you hear a bunch of components break inside. Malady's like, oh, uh, careful, and like flies around to the side with it. Um, and you hear something crunch, and the creature does like, its eye begins to start changing colours. It's been like a, a crimson red, but it now starts to almost kind of strobe in different colours, and you can hear kind of a strange whirring noise going on inside. Oh. They're going... Supernova. Lights. It's kind of all different colours, like purples, blues, greens, all different colours of the rainbow. Um, I'm changing my dice again, just to prove that it's not the dice. I melted all of them, so good luck. Shit. Uh, Elora, it does try and strike you with a beam. Give me a constitution saving throw, please. Natural fucking one. <laughs> your legs are currently fixed in place. You are restrained. Oh, that's all right. But your arms can still move. It's fine. Uh, that's it. Second piece of leg. Uh, Juto, last to go. I can't honestly believe this. Uh, I would like to spend a key point to end frightened. Yes. Oh. So is that bonus action yeah. or a free action, or you just do it? Oh, actually, it's an action. Okay. Uh, I don't have to spend a key point to do that. So it's just um, an action. So it means just... you can't attack. You basically just go. But you're not can I not bonus attack? 
flurry? No. <laughs> Kimberly! You, you can only do that when you make the attack action. When you make can, a normal attack, you can flurry. Can you spend a key to make that action of removing the frightened a key point? It doesn't I don't say think so. Anything. I think it is, it's like an action. You have to spend like six seconds going, woo sir. Because it's quite a bonus to be able to... <laughs> to just go high end. <laughs> Nothing yeah. makes me calm. It's quite a bonus Ooh, no. to be able to just automatically uh, succeed. Are you telling me that the relaxation techniques taught by Martin Lawrence in Bad Boys 2 are not effective? Because <laughs> I'm I so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I can't do it even if I run over to it. Uh, you can, if you want to end the frightened with the action thing, otherwise you've got to move away from this yeah. thing. Uh, so, so you spend your action calming down. Can I move here so you I'm in cover? Can. Yep. And then can I use um, a regular healing potion? But it's an action to drink a potion. That's it then. Rain of Therapon. Next potion. Uh, I guess you, I'm just still rising. You automatically uh, rise another 25 feet. You're now 50 feet up in the air, about halfway up the wall. Okay, not gonna work. You're up there somewhere. <laughs> uh, Just leave him off the board for now. Leave him, geese. <laughs> but it's still like, kind of across a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, I guess I would. You at the top? Is he at the... he's, he's no, he's fifty percent still up. The dome doesn't start until about oh hundred feet up. It's massive. You better not. You've got the angle there. Could I? If I'm like dangling, just like. Uh, yeah. uh, I wanted to sort of <laughs> swing, and then launch from the fifty foot up point. Try and, okay. Yeah. And sure. so I'm taking the sword with me. So you're basically going to push off the force field and use. Well, push off, Can sort of swing Axel? myself as well. Does Axel. It moves on its own, right? Well. Oh no. You wait. can command it to attack. Yeah. Or I can just use it as a simpar. But I'm currently. It's like the only thing holding it... me up here. Mm. He's never tried. Never tried. It could transport you. I might be totally wrong. Who knows? <laughs> It's your mm. good. Because so no, there's no way. Because then I could fly technically, like oh, yeah, thirty that's true. feet. <laughs> Every day. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I mean, you could. Bob, does the, the oh length... hang on, I tried pushing a ghoul last episode, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, it, it have had... a lot of strength. That's the only problem. Yeah. Point. So I don't think it would be able to carry. But it's low G. But it's low G. So how does that affect things? What would you like to do, Thomas? Are you trying that? I'm gonna try that in some downtime. In some downtime. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Right now, it's not, it's not really a risk I want to take, especially if I was just spent like... Falling 50 feet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm just going to swing, launch, pull my sword out, and I want to... So if you want to try and do that, it's going to be... You're going to make two checks. You're going to do an athletics check. With advantage, right? Yes, because of the zero G. <laughs> oh, okay, good. You do, technically you do. Oh, no, athletics. <laughs> That's uh, 15. 15. Sorry, I'm actually currently researching something for your other question. Um, 15, <laughs> you manage, you, you're not going to get the full distance. Uh -huh. You're probably going to land near Hank. Um, now you need to make an acrobatic, because you've done it, now you need to make an acrobatics to see how well you land. Mm. You land on his axe. All right, well, since that's failed... You have advantage on this, by the way, as well. Since mm. that's failed, can I try to pull myself forward with Axel? <laughs> Just to get the extra distance. <laughs> He's still it's researching. He's like, wait, how does this work? Just, just need a little shunt, don't you? I yeah. just need a little boost. It's like a double jump. Like a double jump. <laughs> little Mario double jump. Okay. So, you fly through the air and you're like, you realise you're not going to land. And also, whilst it is lower gravity, there is still gravity. Uh -huh. um, and so, what, you kind of go, like, Soul! Yeah, and you hold still, onto it. Yeah, grabbing onto it. It flies you 30 feet forward. Ah! Fuck off, does it? It does. There's no, it doesn't say it doesn't fly you. I will say it is awkward and clumsy, and if you were trying to do things like <laughs> fly and fight, you would be at disadvantage, because it's like... So another That's baby. amazing. So I'm like above You're it. You're basically above it. And you are slowly dripping down. It can't hold you in the air. It's almost like more like a oh glide. My God. You can glide with it. That's you can't is it fly like Mary Poppins' umbrella? More like that. Uh, you are a Mary Poppins yard. <laughs> <laughs> so while it's in my hand, I can't just disable it. I'm just sort of in the air, right? Yeah, and it's it, it doesn't have the strength to hold you up. It kind of you can glide with it. So I can't disable it. Like Mary Poppins. You're Mary Poppins. If you disable right it, now. you would fall fifty feet down. Onto the I mean, how many deck. actions do I have this turn? Uh, well, that's a bonus action so that was to a activate Exul. Oh, no, yeah. So you've got your so action. You but then it would be a bonus to cancel it, wouldn't it? 
Uh, I don't think so. I think you can choose oh, to end it at any time. Oh. Well, I'm just thinking, I want to drop, and then, as I'm falling down with the force of whatever the gravity is, you can try I want to and slash it and die. Yeah, yep, you could try that. Oh no. Um, <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep hovering. Okay. And just shoot it's, twice. You're, slow, you're going down about five, a rate of five feet a second, you're kind of falling. Oh, that's uh, but mean. you're going to try and shoot down? I'm just going to shoot twice. Okay, do that so twice. disadvantage, because you are currently like awkwardly holding a crossbow in one hand, but you're a pretty good shot. So, Reloading uh, it with 14. your teeth. He's kind of got like a, he's got like an auto reloader thing on it. How much? Only 14. 14. The first shot misses. You're kind of still getting, you're like, uh, boom, uh, boom. No. Natural one. The second shot, you, just, you can't quite get the... Um, Still, you got across the entire map. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Flying. It doesn't recharge. Without even using it's your actions. Um, you're currently gripping onto yeah. its eye stalks. Give me a strength check. It is going to try and break free, but it's not very really strong. No. No, is that not? That's a natural 20. That's a natural 20. Uh, this thing cannot move, like you've got it locked down. Um, so instead, it's going to turn around and it's going to fire its main sort of gun and then it's going to shoot two beams at you. At me? Yeah. Uh, so 20 to hit you with its main cannon. Yeah. Uh, that's 14 force damage. 14. And then it's going to try and shoot uh, two rays at you. So one, two, like that. Okay. So the first thing is you're currently restrained, so give me a uh, strength saving throw. 14. 14. Um, you feel your body seize up, or can you not be paralyzed? You? Oh, I can't be paralyzed, no. Okay, so I'm it has mute. no effect. has no effect on you, the first ray. The second ray, constitution saving throw. 19. 19. Okay, you're going to take half damage. As he rolls. A Julian dice. You're going to take 19 points of necrotic damage. That's half. That's halved already. Necrotic. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is the black ray that knocked down Cam and nearly killed Juto as well, uh, as it eats away your body. It's just flailing, the body's moving around, but you've kind of got it locked in place as it desperately tries to wound you. Um, Cam Buckland. Do you want to pass me the Reynard, by the way? Um, I'm going At least there's some more useful to... arms. Tell <laughs> Hank to throw me in. Yeah. You basically, are you asking for a fastball special? Yeah. At this point, much. we're all on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hank looks over and Malady's like, yes, yes, just do what he says. <laughs> and picks you up. Catch me too. Picks you up by like your armor. Just throw me directly up and catch me. Nods. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you launch about 30 feet in the air. And I'm just gonna whoosh, throw Nimbus down. Okay, the dome is still covering it from your position. You can try and arc it around like Reynard did, ricochet the shot. Curve your bullets. Couldn't you throw it It'd be past it and then call it back to you? Yeah. But it disappears though, doesn't it? It does disappear. Uh, but you could still try and arc it. You can basically try and put a boomerang throw. I'll try and arc it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Disadvantage. Okay. Mm, that's a seven plus a nine. Uh, 16. 16. It actually almost hits uh, the kind of you swing the dagger wide, um, and it just it, the way it's floating. You just didn't judge it quite right. It sails past. You call Nimbus back to your hand. Catch me now. You fall. Uh, you need to make an acrobatics. Last hand also makes a check. Nice backflip. Natural, Natural twenty. 20. Natural twenty. Roll. You you actually managed to land. Um, Hank clumsily has his arms out, but you actually managed to kind of land in the right way where you catch onto him and stuff like that without hurting yourself too badly. Kind of bonus action, move my spiritual weapon as much as I can. Mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Elora, mm -hmm. strength saving throw, please. As uh, it's DCA, it's going to try and hit you with another beam. 16. 16. Uh, you feel it trying to grab hold of you with that telekinetic force and force you to let go, but you, uh, you've still got it. Please hold let on. me be useful! Uh, as it holds on to you, uh, that that to go. don't say that, Tom, because it will then not work. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was almost a 19 when it rolled again. I'm going to say Malady's Tinkering is going to do, I'll say it does 2d6 points of damage, plus oh. intelligence mod. Pulling out all the cables. Which is, which is enough. 
Uh, you watch as like Malady kind of pulls open a metal part, reaches in, and she's just like, hang on, yes, I think I've got something here. She can see her like pulling out cables, um, a small crystal comes flying out the back, and then she basically just gets like a, a short sword, jams it in, and then pulls it out. You watch as the red eye light completely powers down and the whole thing just Completely down. Um, <sighs> Reynard, you just descend very, very slowly. Um, everybody else. After about six seconds, whoosh, the oh. eye comes back on, but it's blue this time. Um, it kind of it kind of comes to um, and there and Malady is just kind of like like looking at it quite astonished. Um, it kind of tries to whirl itself around. Strange. I seem to be caught on something. Magister, why have you obtained me? Please, let me go. I'm gonna just look at Melody and make a grumbly noise and still hold it and go, eh? Cause I don't really want to let go unless, eh? I, I think I've rebooted it or something. It doesn't seem to be an, an attack formation. And it begins hovering. Um, it seems to look around at all of you for a moment. Um, and then there's a kind of flash of light and you can see all these kind of small like spider-like metal spiders kind of uh, seem to appear from the ether. And it begins crawling all over its body, fixing paints back into position banging its like dents out and things like that. My apologies, Magisters. I seem to have suffered some damage before your arrival. I apologize for the state of my appearance. Welcome. You are new Magisters. Please present sigils that I can register as seals and state your names for my records. <laughs> this again. No, but it says new ones. Sigils. Well, we're registering. Um, registering us, not. What sigils can we use? It like looks at you. You may use whatever item you deem worthy. Something you will have on you at all times. Nimbus. Do you wish to register this as your seal, Magister? Yes. Please. Cam Buckland. Magister Cam Buckland. Seal registered. Ah, oh, damn. All right. Can I Welcome, Magister. Thank you. Next, Magister, please. It looks at the Earth Elemental. I'm going to drop elemental form. Thank you for resuming no. natural form. Uh, I'm going to point at my my moon You wish symbol. to register circlet as seal. Yes. Please state your name. Elora Galanadel. Magister Galanadel, Elven. Registered. Yeah. Looks round, looks at <laughs> Raynard, hey. who's still floating down. Um, Magister. Please present seal and state name. Uh, I mean, I've got my signet ring. You just hold that out. S do you wish to register ring? Sure. Please state your name. Uh, Reynard Farahorn. Magister Farahorn. Yep. Registered. Mm -hmm. Turns around to you two. I'd like to hold out my chinchilla. I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hold out my guanda. You wish to register staff weapon unknown. Affirmative. Please state your name. Juto Tzirti Ding. Magister Ding. Registered. <laughs> uh, um, it tends to yeah. Malady. Uh, Malady's very like, her eyes are like, oh, oh, and she's so excited. She pulls out uh, like a necklace uh, with like some sort of symbol on it. She holds this up. Uh, Do you wish to register holy symbol? Yes. Please state your name. Uh, Malady Jones. Magister Jones. Registered. Do you wish to register your construct as an accompanying companion, Magisters? Malady's like, yes, yes, please register him with me. Very well. Construct registered to Magister Jones. You are now all registered in my codexes. Welcome to the Nexus, Magisters. Is there something I can assist you with grapes. today? Grapes, any grapes? I'm afraid I am not capable of creating any substances within this realm. What do your little spiders do? They are currently repairing my body, which was previously damaged by intruders. Can they repair me, please? I'm afraid not. They can only repair unliving creatures. They could repair M Malady, uh, Magister Jones' construct. Ooh. Do that, please. Very well. And a couple of them crawl off, start, like, Hank is kind of alarmed, but Halady's like, no, 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 it's fine. 
starts repairing a few and little like things. Like. Uh, they kind of skitter, they kind of spark almost with electricity when you kind of go to touch them. Very weird. Um, but they have like almost tiny little pistons that like pull out metal. They can heat metal at points and then reshape it. They screw in bolts and things like that. Melanie's fascinated by them. She's just like, this is incredible. I wonder, I wonder if I can steal one. Um, I don't think you'd notice. No, no, that's very wise. Um, uh, the construct just seems to float around. The force field fades uh, from around it. Um, and it looks around. The Nexus has sustained some damage. Please stand by. Um, and then the buildings reaffirm themselves into what their original composition was. No. Okay. Um, technically, you know, big, old, big old boy back. We need to uh, use the Nexus to teleport into the city again, please. Yes, please state destination. Uh, so 14. So 14. There is no registered node at that precise location. I have detected three nearby nodes available. What's the closest one? The closest will be on 15th Sir Corner. Melody, do you know what is around that area? That's difficult. It's not really an area that we've accessed much before. Rashad and the Emerald Blades seem to keep themselves to it. They've not really allowed me there before. Um, as far as I know, it was once um, it was a, a workshop district. A lot of arcane workshops were in the area. Um, obviously, highly prized for salvage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could have some rough folk scavenging. She looks up at the the creature, just like this is fantastic. I wonder. I mean, it seems to have some sort of internal register or, or, or a book of some sort. Yeah, where is it all storing it? I don't know, some sort of magical device, no doubt, some sort of information storage. Is so, it able to detect what's going on in each sector? Magister Galanadel, I have sensors arranged all throughout First Light. Some have appearingly been damaged. I am unable to access several sensors located through many districts. Have you seen any children in the area? Children, scanning. 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 Currently, I register six childlike forms within the city. Hmm. Where? Mistara Campus, second floor, basement. Are they all together? Some are together, two are separated. I also detect other life forms within the campus. They do not register as human. Uh, and what district are they in? Central District. Central. Mordenkainen's Spire. Not nowhere near 15th Sir. No. Incorrect. Hmm. Well, that was just a theory. We didn't know for sure. True. Uh, what's the closest teleportation area? Mistara Campus Lobby. Oh. So we could go into the building, nice. but is there anything in the lobby that you can detect? Scanning. Negative. Hmm. Cam, you look a bit broken. Do you need to... I'm fine. Mm, you look quite broken, Ham. I'm right. Do you need some Do you time require to somewhere to rest? I can transport you. What's the most luxurious and quiet place in the city? It's all ruins. Scan. Scanning. Grand Master's quarters. Currently unaccessible. Hmm. Can you access it? I'm going kind to of just like... You hear like a faint noise. You do not possess current level of authority to access Grand Master Suite. Can we rest oh. here? Yes, if you wish, Grand Master, uh, Magister Zing. Can you make beds here? Negative. Can I? I am guardian Nexus of Nexus. Yeah. I do not control pocket plane. We can sleep, bro. Yeah. Tell we me what a pocket plane and how are we able to fit in it? Pocket plane exists as space between planes, dimensions. Space between planes. Correct. Affirmative. And how does it fit in a pocket? Error. Unable <laughs> to answer. Why? I am sorry, Magister. Your question... Makes no sense. ...does not compute. <laughs> does not compute. Huh. I suggest we rest here with the Guardian watching us. Mm. And then we go for the children. What if it goes all weird again? How long do we need? We don't need long. I just Surely. need a brief You hour. need to just but I will recover be a bit because everyone's a bit damaged. I'm a bit low on my magical abilities. I apologize if you have been attacked within First Light. I detect several sentinels have been damaged. 
the city is currently under attack. Yes, it is. We're it here hurts. to fix that and rescue children. Thank you, Magister. Can you put that in your codex? Registered. Thank you. Magister, Buckland. Sweet. If you teleport us to this campus, are you able to teleport us back here? Campus, no, active. So that should mean that we can we use can come it back. to come back and go to other places we need to. Can other people, Melody, if it's an yes. active, if it's active, does that not mean that people can come here? Yes, I'm at surprised any that time. They, they may not have done, or perhaps um, they have attempted, but this guardian has, has killed them. Before. Went berserk, yeah. Yes, I mean it attacked us. We, we couldn't present the seals. Was there I any... think it's only because we rebooted it that it's mm. defaulted to some sort of register code registering system. I reckon that word has spread as well, and everyone's avoiding this place. So I think we're safe. Is there any? Do we need to warn this guardian not to let other people register? I don't know um, if we can override or it. Do we? Like, I, I, I don't know if I can program it not to. I mean, we can mm. try. It's guardian. fine. Magister, Jing. If anyone else comes through here that does not have a sigil, can you attack them? Of well? course, Magister. My primary process is to defend the Nexus against unwanted intrusions. If they do not present Magister's seal, I will treat them as intruders. Will you register them? Un negative. Registration complete when Grand Magister performs necessary requirements. So Melody made it be able to register us, but she was nobody. Grand. Uh, yeah, can you close all future registrations until Grandmaster Melody? What, what, what Mal was the master? Magister Jones is not current Grand Master. Current Grand Master is. <laughs> Grandmaster Flash? Grandmaster Savile Constance Ulysia the second. Is that we've not heard that name before? Uh, what's his status? Grandmaster Savile Constance Ulysia the second status. Unknown. I am unable to register her within the city. However, I have not been informed of her. Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. Demise. Demise. Uh, um, when was the last time yeah. you heard from her? Approximately 47 years previous. So it is someone who was here before. Mm. Right? Last known location, Grand Master Tower, Mordenkainen Spire. Mm. Which is, we are unauthorized to go in. I no, see. we are authorized Nearest to go Nearest node in the spire. that you could access would be Mordenkainen Spire Lobby, still active. I detect okay. heavy structural damage to Mordenkainen Spire. Mm. That's it, where the children that, are. Is it accessible from foot, from the street? Unable to comply. Uncertain. Well, they've got the children in there, so it must be. Okay, so we're going to rest here. Could, uh, sorry, just one thing. Could you display her sigil? Grandmaster's sigil cannot be displayed. Requires okay. override. What species was she? Human. Are you able to show us the lobby right now, here. To Mysteria Compass. Campus. Like a vision of it. It seems to think for a moment. Because the DM's thinking. <laughs> um, negative. Unable to perform necessary functions. Okay, well, shall we rest? I think Yar. take what precautions we need to and then keep moving. Okay, yep. Gonna rest. Or unless you need to a longer. I would what need eight hours, but I don't think we should. We should do that. Considering the children. Think of the children. What? Somebody, please I think of the rest. children. Nexus Guardian. Magister Buckland. Alert us if there is any human presence or any presence in the lobby. Affirmative. Thank you. Um, do you need some help healing? No, I'm just gonna hit dice it. Are you sure? Yeah. That sounds back? like the perfect time to, to go on break. break. Let's do it. We're gonna take a break right there as the guys take a short rest. We'll be back. Uh, what will they find in the Mystara campus and more kind of spire? You will find out very soon. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Bye. 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 See you a bit.
Hello, and welcome back Hello. to the High Rollers. We're going to do a competition now. Katie, yeah. why don't you tell them about the competition? So, we only have two of these t-shirts. Oh, OG t-shirts. We only have two left. Um, this is an extra large, and we've also got a small, which is still in this packet. Um, so, what you have to do to get one of these, they're not on sale anymore, is you have to answer the following question. It's very easy. In it chat. may even be on screen now. What is Cam's surname? I, Jane could, is gonna, I wouldn't possibly know. So, Jane is going to put the question, and uh, the way you enter it is just a raffle system. So, write the word in chat and you'll be entered in. Jane is probably in chat doing it just now. There's an anti-spam system built in if you type more You can more only than, enter once. If you enter more than once, it cancels out your entry, so don't do that. Just yeah. say your answer once, that's it. Is say it your answer Buckland? once. Buckland is... It could be Muckland. It could be Buckland. <laughs> Buckland. It could be Suckland. So, that's not the question I Duckland. suggested. You have five minutes from now, so only five minutes to enter. Yeah. And you have to answer the question, what is Cam's surname in chat? And you could potentially win these and we will announce oh, the winner at the end before we do the donations. We will also be able to sign them if you want. If yeah. you don't want them signed, then also let us know just because we just need to know at the end. Okay? You also, if Jane messages you, you have to respond. Uh, Pretty otherwise quick. Otherwise it will go to someone else. Yes. So please respond. Also, it's not, capitalizations aren't necessary. So it's just the word. If you've already entered without. What yeah. could it be? I suggested what is Cam's natural 20. I said no. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think we can have people spamming their answer in. It's a dice. Maybe on your channel. <laughs> we uh, Right, so whilst that competition is going on, very quick recap, the guys, uh, the, the party, I should say, have fought a some sort of mechanical beholder Nexus Guardian. Um, however, it seems that once it had taken sufficient damage, Malady was able to reboot it, um, and it has now registered the party as Magisters, part of the Arcade Brotherhood who once ran the city, um, and has now been answering their questions. They have discovered that a six child-like forms have been detected in a place called the Mistara Campus, uh, which is part of the Mordenkainen Spire in the very centre of the city. Um, they've asked a few other questions. They know that there is something to do with a Grandmaster who um, is uncertain what happened to them. Um, and yeah, there's loads of other stuff. Um, they took a short rest. Yep. You've all spent hit dice. Yep. Um, push to your limits. Um, yeah, except yeah. for Reynard, who's absolutely fine. Didn't um, get touched. Elora's got most of her spells. I think it's really only Cam that is suffering. Pretty expensive. Most of his Pretty spells. Expended. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Due to his music, Mark, dice, can you move your microphone closer? Mark, can you put your microphone on? It might help if I actually... Wow. Man, Andrew, you told us all! Wow. He was like, is everyone plugged in? <laughs> everyone ready to go? <laughs> Gave me shit. <laughs> what a shit. Typical, no. Typical so DM. all of that whole thing just there, you got through my butt. Got <laughs> <laughs> so through my butt. Um, cool. Lol. Uh, so... You took a short rest, party. What next? Uh, are we ready? Are yes. you ready? Yeah, do you I feel do okay? some cartwheels to show I'm ready in low ground. Could you roll for that, please? Uh, I will wait the DM. Are you actually doing cartwheels? Yeah, a little low grab car. Little low, low grab, grab cartwheels. Yeah, it's easier. Oh, that's a two. <laughs> You kind of go to do it, but you float a lot higher and you complete like a double rotation and land on your head. On my head? Like, <laughs> like not hard because of the low ground, but it's still like you look like a fool. Sweet. Holy crap. Sweet. Magister, Sweet. Buckland, you have fallen. <laughs> I give a little kind of like. I'm fine. Let's go. Um, can you do another check to see if there's anything in the lobby, Guardian? I would. It basically says um, negative, Magister. Go on, Adele. I would have informed you. As per your request. Um, oh, uh, we didn't know we requested. I mean, Cam that. asked for to warn us, warn us if there were any humans there. Could you check if there were anything else there? I detect no living life forms within the lobby, Mistara campus. But you said that the figures that you detected in the building were not human. Correct. Were they elven? Incorrect. Were they snake people? Oh God. You Registering. You want tea? You want tea? Confirmed. Ah, freaking snakes. We have a winner. <laughs> I detect them, second floor, basement. How many? Five life forms, matching. You are on T, description. 
Any other life forms matching a different description? Aside from the Please children. Please restate query. Removing yuan Ti and children out of the equation, how many other organisms or life forms are there in this place? Zero. Right. I detect much larger numbers, yuan Ti, below the surface, in tunnels. Right. Oh. In That's that the area? The Throughout first light. Oh. oh. Yeah. Let's not use the tunnel system at all. Yep, Melody, no, tur- no tunnels. Yes, it's good, good, good job we didn't use those in the end, isn't it? Oh. Yes! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah! Are we ready to transport ourselves? Away? Please stand on teleportation grid. Okay. Hank? Melody moves up with you. Uh, yeah. Pick me uh, up. It all stands you. Pick me up. Uh, Cam, why do you want him to pick you up? I want to be held. <laughs> <laughs> Hank, give him a hug. Cradle, no, cradle. Ah, that's painful. I expected him to be comfier. You should he put some pillows on him. He's metal and stone and wood. Put some cushions on him or something. No, that will completely distract from his intimidating presence. <clears throat> it's true. It's very true. Metal pillows. <laughs> what? Let's go. <laughs> Why have we Ooh. faded away? Steve. What's happened? Oh. <laughs> it was like we suddenly vanished, like we would go, we've never really been here. We've been dead the whole time. <laughs> that was that's um, uh, so uh, the you stand all on the, the on the on the circle uh, where you arrived. Uh, the guardian's like, please confirm. Destination. Mistara Campus Lobby. Teleporting now. You feel like a sudden surge of power, there is a flash of light. You feel that sudden surge of your body being pulled away from you. Um, it is not a transporter. Uh, I was immersing me here. Uh, and you arrive in a very well furnished, excellently kept lobby. There is a marble floor in which you can see a very faint engraved teleportation circle. Um, there are marble pillars holding up a dark wood balcony. Um, there are panelled walls, um, plush lounge chairs with thick velvet cushion seats. Um, and to your north and to your east, there are a pair of double, excuse me, mahogany doors. Nothing in the lobby at all? Ah, uh, no. Can we hear anything? Ah, uh, perception check. If you, would, uh, if you are just going shut up, shut up, and listening. Natural one. The, you still got a bit of a ring in your ears from the teleportation. Twenty-one. Um, you like kind of go around the room and listen. You can't hear anything nearby. If you wanted to like go through to the doors and like listen in a certain direction, you can do that. I would like to do that. On the north or eastern doors. North. North. Okay. Sixteen. You don't hear anything. East. Fifteen. Fifteen. Go on. You think very, very quiet. You think you can hear a kind of hiss-like breathing, but it sounds very far away. You want to see behind this door? Ah, east. Mm. Uh, should we avoid it, or is it that's where they're holding up the children? Where did they? He said the second. Second floor, floor basement. Basement. And we're in the lobby. Yes. How do we get to the second floor basement from here, do you reckon? I imagine there's stairs. <laughs> Going down. <clears throat> do we see any stairs anywhere? Not in this lobby. Not in this lobby. Uh, Melody, um, just to inquire, um, obviously I'm more than happy to help you. Um, you know, you held up your end of the bargain. Would it be better for me and Hank to stay here and guard the teleportation device as it is probably our only exit? Um, well, they're not going to use it, are they? Might. Perhaps not, no, but they could perhaps destroy it. You know, we saw that it is possible to damage the electron cores and such. They just yeah. cover it up with a rug. Uh, the teleport station circle is fine. It's the, you can see suspended in the ceiling. It's like a metal lattice work with an electron core. If it's always be been here, and they're uh, worried about using it because of the mechanical guardian. I just concern myself that if you begin attacking, then they may try and destroy it. They don't know how we got here. I mean, very well. It's, it was merely a question if you wanted me to do that. 
Can I insight her? Yes. Two. Two? No, yes. Sounds like well, she, she was checking if that's a good idea. Uh, group talk. <laughs> Is she going to tell him around? <laughs> she like comes to walk Not over you. with you. But you said group talk. Yeah, but... OG group. Thank you. Oh. Oh. I was going to make a little bit as well then. Oh. Reynard, you're part of this. <laughs> oh, nice. <clears throat> Is she trying to... Uh, yeah. She needs... We need her. She knows this place. We don't know this place. Is there any benefit to her? Protecting something that well, they don't use? Can I inside check her or is the moment passed? Kind of passed. <laughs> you could. You can insight her body language in general, but like that particular moment uh, has gone past. Can we reactivate all the teleports? 20. She looks kind of sad that she's not being included. She's like looking at a wall and like checking Hank and looking a bit sad. She seems fairly genuine. She is upset because you're not letting her talk with us. Although she does have a point. We don't know the city. If we get cut off here, we are, and we are to use a human term, screwed. <laughs> Team things don't use screwed. Oh, I use it all the time <laughs> for multiple reasons. <laughs> so I have learnt. Mm. All right. So, thank you. That's what we'll do for Malady's birthday. She <laughs> turns around, shakes her head. <laughs> I, I can assure you there's nothing nefarious. I, I was merely just checking if it would be more advisable for me to stay here. Well, I'm not, as you saw, I'm not much use in a fight. Well, my man Hank is capable, but he's more of a bodyguard than a warrior. The human has trust issues. Oh, clearly. Melody, if we were to leave you here, are you capable of defending yourself against all of these creatures? I am better at defending myself in a secure location than I would be in a straight-up fight, I think. I mean, Hank is capable of protecting the device, and... I think I'm better at supporting him than I am a large group. I mean, I just, I felt very useless against the Guardian. Um, I mean, you did disable it. Well, at the very end, after it had blasted all of you with magic, I mean, I felt myself fall unconscious, and I know that somebody helped me get back up again, but... Hmm. We need a method of telling you ahead of time that we're about to enter this place, and we need to leave immediately. Yes. Oh, Is there any communication? Yes, yes, I can easily provide that, and she hands you a small stone. Okay. It's like a rock. It's like a pebble. What the hell? What is this? It's, Wait, it's, it's a some sort of joke. It's a sending stone. Have we seen this before at the genie's place? Yes. We have. We've seen this oh, at the... it's her. Hello, Cam. It comes out that stone. Hello. 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 Uh, you have to say over at the end of a sentence. So it'd be like, hello, Cam, over. Over what? No, no. You say over at the end. Oh. So you'd but say, we... hello, Cam, over. Over what? To say that you're finished speaking. Hello, over. That's it, very good. You can have it. <laughs> okay, I got it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you have an A sending stone. Thanks, Melody. Be safe. That should work up to about a mile away. I hope we don't go further than that. Yes, I also. Uh, have you ever researched this building before? No, I'm going to. It's fascinating. Okay. Can you. It's so intact, nothing else in the city is like this. That's the worry. Where's, yes. where's the actual entrance to the lobby? From Is there the like big doors for the, to the There's outside? There's big doors to the north and big doors to the east. Is there windows? Uh, there are windows, yes. Can I just take a little peeky out there? Uh, you, <laughs> are, you are about 60 feet up. Oh. You look down oh. on the city um, and you can see these tall buildings. You are actually in the very centre of First Light. You can see that there is an inner centre, there's like an inner wall that blocks you out from the other districts. Um, and there, the buildings here, are incredible. They are mostly intact in, in terms of they haven't crumbled or fallen away to ruin like foliage. There are several with enormous full shards through them um, that have like smashed through and broken areas. But apart from that, there's no foliage. There's no sign of decay. Um, the stone hasn't crumbled. The metal hasn't rusted. The wood hasn't rotten. Um, it's all perfectly preserved. Um, but there's these just giant sort of things. The only thing you can see is that on the streets, there's almost like a fine dust cloud, um, like a fine coating of dust over everything. Um, but yeah, you look down, um, and yeah, this, this seems to be part of a multi, like six axis building that is part of a larger structure. Hmm. Must be some sort of crazy magic holding this thing up. 
And there's no exit so, to the west either. No, or it's no north and east. Okay. Second floor basement. That sounds odd. Why does that sound so odd? I guess they want to hide from there, from the tunnels. Maybe they're successful from there, the tunnels. Yeah. I think we're going to have to. So we're quite high up. We're going to have to go the long way. It's, it's also quite possible that um, deeper underground, the effect on the false shards, the uh, unstable magic that uh, the <laughs> Mr. Blueskin over here has encountered, um, it, it's uh, underground. It, it, the effects are lessened. The mist tends oh, okay. to rest on, more on ground level. Mm. Um, Is there the, a miasma in here? No. Okay. Cool. But the, it drifts throughout the city. The miasma is very react strangely. Um, nobody's really understood it yet. I wonder why. Yuan T would worry about magic. If they're working with the Broken Sky, then they probably have magic. Mm. Maybe they use magic to turn back into humans? The Broken yeah, that's true. They do transform. Plus, they, they were able to summon more snakes, weren't they? Uh, ah. Yeah. Remember, you got a whole bunch of snakes thrown at you. So, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Let's, uh, I assume they're guarding the descent through the east door. So, should we give them the jump? Knowing that they're there and they don't know we're there. Should we just burst through the doors and attack? I think stealth. Mm. How are we going to open these big doors stealthily? You said it sounded like they were further away. Mm. It wasn't right behind the door. But they're, they're huge, right? <coughs> these huge doors. <coughs> Sorry, chat. Are they huge doors? Uh, they are double doors, like, you know, you get in a big library or something like that. I think they're going to notice visually that they're opening. <laughs> we don't really have another way around. We have to open one of the sets of doors, so... I reckon we burst through. Element of surprise, attack them straight away. But what if they're far away? You can catch then up real fast. But if we open the door stealthily, they'll be like, who's there? It gives them a chance to prepare themselves. If that happens, then we just speed up. All right. I am tired of this conversation. Mm. I'd like to go up to the door and try and open it stealthily. Okay. So um, just give me a stealth check to see how quietly you can open it. Eight. It's heavy. Um, it's well preserved door, but it's a very heavy, thick wooden door. You creak the handle, and it does have a slight sort of like. And then as you push open, it kind of catches a bit on the flagstones. You have to kind of shove it. You hear it kind of scrape against the, the, the marble floor. Um, Just watching. But you look out into it, and it leads into a corridor. Uh, again, beautifully preserved marble floors, um, wood paneled walls. Um, the windows here have thick kind of velvet curtains, you know, velvet red curtains. Um, and it leads out into a corridor. You can see further down um, that there is a door leading to your uh, left. But then there, at the end, there is a set of stairs leading down. Any right. figures? No. Um, are there any sounds at the door? Yep, so you walk up to the door and listen. Twelve. You can't hear anything. Um, the only thing you can hear is what sounds like um, bare feet or like nails clacking against the marble stones. Um, it seems to be a quite a you can sort of peer down and you can see it's a, a long, narrow flight of steps that goes down quite far. Uh -huh. um, it seems to have multiple floors. Oh. And you can hear something just... <laughs> as if it was going up and down the stairs. Should we lure that up instead of it? Us flying it down there where other people can see? Potentially. I'm assuming you are talking quietly. Yes. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of stream, we are not whispering. Yes. Stage whispering. So, oh my, I'm whispering. <laughs> that was great. Position yourselves. Uh, okay, I'm gonna ready myself at the top of the stairs. Kind of like, is there a, a wall that I can? No, what? Steve, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, no. Uh, you can, so imagine that you've kind of got like this long corridor. The stairs are actually kind of heading down this way to back towards the door you came from with a sort of small wooden balcony, a banister balcony. Okay, thing. so it's like a whack, whack, whack. Yeah. But is there a wall here I can just like hide behind where the stairs? Uh, let me try and draw this out for you. Yeah. Use the stairs. Um, 
It's more that it's the position of the corridor. Okay. So. So I'm picturing the stairs, right? Go like, like, like. Oh God. <laughs> what are you doing? Like that. What? Oh, what? So they turn so, back on themselves. I'll show yeah. you. So, not gonna be able to see. So this is the door you came in from. Yeah. This is the door on the left. Right. And then okay. this is kind of almost oh, like a wooden okay. banister. I'm gonna and hide. And the stairs go down. There, then. So Cam's gonna be there. There's no stairs going up, right? No. Just down. Because we're at the top. Are okay. we at the top? Uh, uh, this, this part appears. of the building, you appear to be. There is no way up from what you have seen so far. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the poster note back. But that's so you're gonna stand like just beyond this point, okay? Over the top okay. of the stairs, like on. The okay. Floor. Sure. So if I were to look down the stairs, how far can I actually see? If you go over and peer right over the banister, it looks like it goes all the way down, almost like you were looking down like um, an office building's kind of stairwell. It seems to go do, 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 like that. Like a spiral, yeah. kind of, with a pillar in the middle. Can I come over? But the pillar is like empty space. Imagine like the, the right. office, gotcha, the gotcha, stairs gotcha. here at York Towers where you've kind of got like an empty space and it kind of goes... Um, right. with that perception roll, can I kind of tell like how far down the sound was? No, like, not yeah. with a 12, like it's kind of hard to distinguish exactly where it Echoing is. and reverb, yeah. Can I check the door on the left, just like... Not open it, or just No, like no try and, try yeah, and listen. Sure. Yeah, you can listen to that. Twenty-four. Empty. You don't, Empty. Hear, you don't hear a sound in it. What if okay. they're all wearing sponge slippers? And True. Can I insight the door for them. like um, traps or anything? Insight the door. Yeah. Mm, this door's body language tells me it's trapped. It's investigation. It's a bit wooden. It's a bit wooden. Oh, very good. <laughs> nice. Very good. Uh, insight's more for body language. Natural and stuff. twenty. Ah, uh, on the door is no traps. It's just a door. Including the handle? Yep. Nothing. There's nothing. There's no, there's yeah. a, it's a door. Right, yeah. um, okay. It appears to be a very well furnished, nice door. I'm positioned, Juto. Ready. What could lure them? We could drop something. Is there anything? Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna hide. Is there like a banister on that stair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll... Is it. Solid, like, or can you no, see through like it? Slats through it. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Can I open the door to the room very slowly and cautiously? Mm -hmm. um, you open up that door, and it leads into um, what was probably once like a lounge. You can see a couple of card tables with kind of thick leather armback chairs. Reynard, it kind of feels almost like a hunting lodge back home. There is um, sofas, like uh, you know, luxurious leather sofas facing onto a small coffee table. Um, you know, rich kind of dark, thick rug uh, along a thick carpet, wine-coloured carpet. Does anything look suspicious? Not to your base eyes, no. Not to your base eyes. Ten on perception, seven on investigation. Oh, it just looks like a lounge, some sort of like nice mm. plush room. Does it have any books or anything like a small thing? I no can bookshelves, no. It's just it's almost like um. There's uh, a mantelpiece, but again, it's it's all no just ornaments it's or all no, not really. No, okay. it seems quite um, comfortable, but lacking personality. Any cushions on the chairs? Uh, yeah, there's cushions. Very simple, just square shapes. I'd like to take a cushion, please. Okay, so you take your cushion. Everybody ready? Yeah. Are we gonna rest? What? Uh. Cushion. I'm going to throw the cushion over the banister. You kind of hear like a... I have a cushion. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a sudden, quick section of movement. Um, you kind of hear something slithery and scrapey and clawed um, scramble around. Um, sounds like they head down to wherever this pillow's landed. Um, Can I take another pillow? Mm -hmm. and aim it so it's kind of like higher up, mm -hmm. like nearer to us. Okay, so you throw that one, and then this time you hear another rapid kind of slithering of movement and, and things rushing up the stairs. Um, Elora and Cam and Juto, as you are the closest oh, to the I'd, top of the stairs. I'd like to kind of like, if I can, like hide just behind the, the door. I'm still okay, at the so door Okay, so as you go away through. to do that, you're still going to give me a stealth check. For movements. I'm still at the door that we came. Oh wait, no, I'm at you the other door. You said you moved up the banister. Yeah, I no, the other door. Oh, you, you asked for it, okay. 
Well, anybody who is nearest to the stairs, stealth check, please. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> 15. Okay. I'm still at the door. 18. 18. So you hear... Uh, those of you who are by the stairs can see on the floor below um, where the pillow has landed. They haven't noticed you guys yet. You see two... They might have once been men, but now they are more beast. Uh, hunched over, long ape-like hands with huge long claws dragging against the, the stone. Scaled, uh, reptilian-like snakes. Um, hooded, kind of almost like cobra hoods. But they just... They don't... They're not human. They, they act more like animals. They sniff around, their tongues tasting the air. One of them goes to touch the cushion, the other one like, and like has it, hisses and slashes at it. They begin sort of like squabbling almost, but then they kind of continue sniffing around. What the hell are they? Do they look similar to the ones that we saw in the shop? No. No, no. These look far more bestial. Uh, they are human shaped, but there's no... The ones you fought in the shop had intelligence. There was mm. uh, malign... Uh, intent. Even snake arms. Even so, snake arms had a human man's face, like he was talking and everything else. Can I? Yes. One of them starts coming up the stairs, uh, leading, as, about to come up towards you guys. As he's like starting to do that, can I drop a vial of poison so it tries to like break and hit them? So you want to throw the poison at them? Mm. So you're going to throw a vial of poison at the creature. Mm. Okay, that's give that's me uh, as if you're throwing a shuriken. Sneaky, though, is it? Mm. He does, no, he's yeah, reptilian. reptilian. Oh. 24, 25, okay, you like aim with great, your, your, your aim is true, precision. Uh, the vial smashes against its skin, <sighs> it hisses up and it kind of looks up and sees you, and then it just begins scarpering up towards the stairs. Um, it has not detected uh, Reynard and Cam. What are you two doing? Going to uh, summon a guard in the face at the top of the stairs. And this is, if they come within it, they take 20 damage unless they make a save, right? Okay, so it, as it's kind of like, <laughs> kind of crawling on all fours, scampering up the stairs towards Juto, this guardian suddenly, whoa, into place. What does it look like? Does it uh, looks like me. Poison damage? No. no. It's a snake man. They're snake people. Oh. It's a snake man. It's not huge though. Does it's it get just... cut like a little bit by the vial? Tiny vial, like... not enough for any damage. Maybe it goes in its eye and it's like, ow. <laughs> and it's like, ow. What's it look like? Looks like me. Well, well, it looks like you. Radiant and... And it's a wisdom saving throw? Uh, correct. I'll double check. <laughs> uh, it goes to get up there. It kind of like looks up at this thing. <laughs> and then it just is obliterated into radiant energy. <laughs> this this ha- cam just like holds up a hand and it's just like, nah! And it just melts away. Uh, uh, so, uh, a bit excessive. You hear another hiss from the floor below. Look up. I'm going to give it an intelligence saving throw. It's a deck saving, sorry. As it still would have failed. Like okay. Three. okay. Uh, the other one looks up, sees what happens, and you see its eyes go wide with fear, and it begins to try and run downstairs. Uh, Reynard, you still have a go? So, I, so it's like what, below me? It's yeah, on the floor it's below, the floor and it's on the stairwell heading down. And there are slats in the... Yeah, so you can, can and you can it. even just peer over the banister as well. You can see it running. I want to aim for its legs. Okay. Um, just a blow it. If I don't yeah. kill it, I want to just cripple it. Okay. You have a twin. Yeah, that's a twin. You don't. I mean, you don't even rough. Your crossbow bolt not only go it goes through its foot uh-huh. and pins it to the wooden floor, um, and it's like nah, nah. It's like. Nearly ripping up its own foot apart, oh. trying to get free. Oh, I remember. Um, it's almost like an animal oh, in a God. bear trap. It's like ah, it starts like clawing at its foot, trying to like make the wound bigger so it can oh. slide the thing off. Um, That's oh, disgusting. No. And it Very seems nice. it seems fixed in place, and it's beginning to look faint, almost like it's losing blood quite quickly. Oh, a thick yeah, green. I want to. I want to just kill it. I want to kill that. Oh, we gotta kill it. That's a t- uh, nineteen <laughs> through the head. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, I have made mistakes. I think I may have overcompensated. <laughs> I do summon the guardian of fish. <laughs> Shit. Right. 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 Oh, we killed him. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Okay. 
so awkward. <laughs> Sweet. There's just like a, an outline of a snake beast on the stairs from where your golden <laughs> energy annihilated oh, it. To kill and it then quickly. there's just this horrific corpse like crossbow bolt through its neck. You can still kind of hear it gurgling like. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm going to have to take His leg twitches post mortem. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into the uh, hunting lodge room and just put a pillow over my head and just sort of breathe. Scream. <laughs> 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 when he's done screaming, can I take the pillow and chuck it over? Nothing. Okay. Probably created more noise up here than the, the cushion down there. I mean, the creature was making a lot the of noise. The creature made it was like. Bah, bah, bah. Just check him. All right. Do you want to scout ahead? Stealthy Juto. Open those doors. Real quiet. Well, we're going down. Just gonna death step. <laughs> Can I have a look at the the one that I massacred? So you head downstairs to the second, just, the floor below. You can see, as you go down to the floor below, it's like almost like a corridor that stretches out. Again, same sort of like wooden panelled walls. Um, this one, there's a few doors uh, open, and they seem to lead into like small offices. You see like desks and chairs, bookcases, um, with a few kind of scattered books. Mainly, uh, like you read it, and it's in a, in a strange language, like almost like a very old version of Common. Um, and Can I do a history check? Yeah, you can do a history check, yeah. Are there any like scrolls or anything? Not scrolls, or... no, just mainly books. Is there any other objects? There's strange this? objects. There's things like a uh, metal, almost like a lantern, but only half of it has metal and glass, but it still seems to have like a faint dim light. Um, a quill, but it's not a feather, it's almost like a cylinder with like a metal point and then ink pots. Um, Crazy. There's strange devices you've never seen before. Uh, what history check, what you get? world you've built. Uh, 16. <laughs> 16. Um, looking at it, like, this is, this is old. This is the language that kind of existed. Um, it was kind of used by the elites long before the light fall. It was kind of almost used, like, by the mages for legal documentation, yeah. um, managed, 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 managerial <laughs> kind of documentation <laughs> and things like that. You got it. Um, med, med, med. Magisterial, I was trying to say. Um, it, you, you kind of get the impression it's, it's written in common. You can read it, but it's like forsooth, etc. Ye olde like English, English. Mm -hmm. um, Shakespeare stuff. Shakespeare stuff, and it's um, it, it seems to the books on this particular shelf seem to be related to some sort of law, uh, things like legal farm stock trade rights and you know uh, that kind of thing. Uh, it's a very boring stuff. Kind of, yeah. The uh. creature as you get closer to it. Um, you kind of now, now that you see it a bit more up close, give me a nature check. 16 plus... 16. Looking at this creature, looking at its like structure, it's almost... It, you can't shake the feeling that this looks a bit too human. Does it have any sort of markings of the broken sky anywhere? Oh, no, that's a question. Perception check. No, shite. Oh, it's Cock. completely Cock. hot. 13. No, you're looking over it. Most of its skin is like covered in scales. There's no tattoos, obvious signs and things like that. Um, but yeah, there's just something about it. Looking at its face, it has a man's face. They've been experimenting? Uh, is that why they went with children? Potentially, broken sky involved, then who Maybe knows what they're going to do. Light born children. I mean, he's insane. Like, there's something wrong with this one. And that one. But they but. wanted light born children specifically, so if they were experimenting, surely they would not imbue them with the same light born powers. The light born would allow them to cheat death, yeah. like you do. I think that's why they want them. Why else would they want them? Because they're really powerful. The special things, they, it's powerful, radiant children, and who can come back to life when they die. Orcs. It seems very much something that the Broken Sky would want to exploit. The Orcs is less magical, it's more like they just don't die easy. Uh, the Lightborn is very magical, like, ah, glowing hair! Uh, yeah. Uh, orcs is just, ah, this fucker's too stubborn to die. Either I'm not way. Die, I'm taking you with me. Yeah. Are there any, yeah. on. Are there any, like, I don't know, not like, Needle points or anything, but like signs of experimentation. Why don't you give me a medicine or investigation check? 16 plus. Uh, medicine or investigation. 20 on medicine. 
Yeah, I got 18. 18. Um, between the two of you, Juto kind of notices it first and points it out on the medicine. Yes, there are signs that there has been, not quite injections, but this creature has been cut and then stitched, you know, like it's been, you know, operated on. Um, its pupils are still mainly human when you kind of peel them up, it doesn't quite have the reptilian eye. There are signs of magical uh, effects, kind of like almost as if this creature has been warped by magic as mm. well. Um, the limbs have been unnaturally lengthened, uh, the scales are not natural that they've kind of broken through, there are still some traces of blood and skin fragments in between them. Um, what the hell? This, with the with the twenty, you are almost certain that this was once a human man, mm. but has been transformed. Was it the broken sky, or was it the one one T, or was it both of them combined? I think this combination of people mm. just or, seemed to both not care about. Or was it the previous occupants of first life? I think it's like probably the first life. Maybe. This is Where called is Mistara Campus. Yeah. In my understanding, a campus is a place of learning and experimentation. Is there actually True. any Broken Sky connection to this? Well, they are capturing the children for the Broken Sky. The, the snake so people are capturing for it yeah. for the Broken Sky. Either way, regardless so of the, the reason, we need to save these children. So, let's go. To the second level basement. Okay, you guys make your way down the stairs. You see, um, you, you go through a few, few floors, more than just two. Um, but you get the sense that as you're descending, the furnishings become less luxurious, uh, they become more practical, um, and eventually you find yourselves in a stone corridor, uh, which is leading away. Yeah. If you guys want to clear that. Um, you will have to be trustworthy players and remember that you cannot see all of the map at once. I see everything. Shift all that stuff. So you guys uh, come out um, into a room, a stone, cold stone. Um, you can see a double set of uh, wooden doors. Again, still well kept, um, but more practical than they were once were. Um, and then a smaller door, which heads off to the side. Where should we go? <laughs> I want to listen at that door. Mm -hmm. Can I listen at the other one? Yep. Perception checks. I want to listen again. Natural 20. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Reynard, you can't hear anything. Um, Elora, natural 20. Your elven senses, you kind of hone them. Years of going through the forest, tracking animals with your father. You know, you, you do have a very precise sense of hearing. Coming from probably quite far away, probably behind another wall, you can hear like young voices, like crying and sort of sobbing and a very faint sort of like, help your help your But it's coming definitely from behind another wall. Turn this way. Oh, okay. Well, let's go that way. Can I see if the door has any sort of traps on it? Yeah, that's Specifically, check. also looking for the poison that they used before. So I will tell you, you can have advantage. Thirteen. Twenty-one. It's very similar to the setup you saw back in Talis Val. There are no traps, but the handles. Um, and any sections where it looks like somebody might touch, there is this very faint, thin liquid. Tito, um, let me go first. So you just, you just put it open, you're immune to poison, just wipe your hand off on your clothes. Wipe um, off it leads clothes. into <laughs> It leads into another kind of stone corridor. Uh, this one you can see that there are two doors on the sides, on your left hand side. Um, <laughs> Why? And it just seems to lead down. You get the sense that the voices were further down. They further were, down. They, they were probably coming from the behind the furthest door. How, do I, did I get a sense of how many children? Based on to, you could hear a few sobbing and few. murmurings, but you don't know. Because the the guardian said that they were Six. split up. Mm -hmm. Right, in and out, upstairs, teleportation circle, bish bash bosh, you want They're split up. Remember, oh. the guardian said there was four, Two. four on one section and two separated. We need to find all of them. Well, uh, But it sounds like there's a few we killed here. Two. The children, not the house. Perhaps, no. perhaps no. we can rescue. No, we killed two children yet. Let, it, let us just rescue whoever is behind this door. Perhaps we can always send them Melody. upstairs. We uh, can send them up. What if there's other people up there? We've cleared it. Let's find them. Did we, we didn't yeah. sense anyone else as we were coming down, did no. we? No. All right. It's very weird, you didn't 
you know. It was just those two just on the those stairs. Just those two patrolling the stairs, it seems. So you guys make your way down. Um, okay. And there's a wooden door. I will open can we check the, the Can we you check? You go to open it. Uh, it's locked. It's locked, mate. Hello. Hello. Uh, we're here to rescue you. Is that, what? Uh, you can hear like a voice like, it could be a trick. It could be, they might be trying to lure us out again. It's fine. We're not snake people. We're actually trying to get you out. We're from Talos Val. We're from Korak. They're from, they're from the city. They're from the city. Uh, and you can see like a little eye peering through a keyhole. Mm. They're human. They're human. One's got blue skin. Um, <laughs> uh, they're like, yes, hi, help, please. You've got to just, they've, they've, we, we need to get out of here so bad. Please. We need to open the door. The, the, uh, the, the, the professor, he has a key. Professor? He's, he's, he's one of the snake men. They call him the, prof- the professor. He's the, the he's the one that's been, he's the one that's been quieter, doing things quieter. to us. Like they, they, they're getting quite anxious and like panicking. Quieter, quieter now. Um, okay, well you two can give me persuasion checks. Nice. Be quiet or die. <laughs> That'd be intimidating. Uh, 27. <laughs> 21. <laughs> Between the two of you, they're like, Okay, okay, and like you can hear one of them, there's um, a boy's voice, which is kind of coming out a bit louder. He's like, now listen, you've got to be quiet. We don't want to alert the others. If they're here to rescue us, we've got to be quiet. Just listen to them, okay? Listen to them. Um, he's like, yeah, the professor has it. I, I, I don't know where he is, but he's the, he normally sends some of his guards to come and get us. Uh, Do they come and get you at specific times? Just when they're done experimenting. They, what? They rotate through us throughout the day. Um, um, they wait for our special power to come back, and then they try their experiments again. Oh. How many of you are in there? Uh, there's four of us in here. They've already taken Sana and Jen. Oh. Do you know the route to where they experiment on you? Uh, yeah, you go through this corridor uh, to my, uh, I'm trying to think, there, there's a staircase with a big set of double doors. You go through there and then there are two laboratories. They take us into different ones at different times. Okay. Uh, there's also a room with seating above it. Uh, that's where the professor does his experiments. Oh. I'm just gonna, just give me a second. Can you break down the door or something? I mean, I know. I'm gonna try and pick the lock. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Ah, just get out some rudimentary. Do you have thieves tools? I've got an inkwell with a fella. If you don't have thieves tools, you can make the check with disadvantage. Oh. I got Mason's tools, can I like just... Mason's tools, yeah, you can try and like chisel the hinges off. <laughs> like you could, you could literally be like, Poof. I like to try and break the hinges off. Natural like, 20. Made you need statue. more strength based rather than anything. Let me try picking it quietly and if it doesn't work you can... Can I, I can try and with pure force. It would make a lot of noise. I mean, if Laura is like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean you could probably use the Mason's tools. If you, I would say that if you kind of guided Elora, there is a way you could do it not as loudly. Like if you literally broke the hinges off and then caught the door before it hit the ground, that wouldn't be that loud. It would be loud, but not that loud. All right, kids. Try Stay away first. from the door. Are you going to try and pick it? Yeah. Okay. We're going to try and pick right, it. Come on. And then away. try and he's break gonna, it. He's going to try and break it. He's going to get the door down. Door's going to explode. It's going to be incredible. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm Lightborn too. Hang on, sorry. Uh, before you do that, wouldn't there be poison on this as well? On the handle. Can, Can you it? wipe it off? Uh, yeah, there is, there is poison on the handle. There is poison all over it. Uh, is it yeah. possible to wipe? To wipe it off, or to, to use... Off with? Rain on, give me your gloves. Oh, yeah. Well, I know I need these. Your sleeves. Give me your gloves. Can I just get my I'm... cape and just... She, she's wiped yeah. it off on her yeah. rope. You, you, it, it takes you some time, it takes you a few minutes, but you kind of like, like wipe as much of it off as possible. Oh, no. What is the check? Uh, it'll be dex, because you're not proficient with it as well. Ten. Wow, this lock is really I'm tricky. My fingers. This is like where you've got. I imagine you've got like the dagger and like maybe some like little thin bits of metal that you're trying to use. But this is really tricky. You, you mean you've picked a few locks in your time in the Bucklands, but you never really had a talent for it. All right, time to bust down the door. Stand aside, children. All right. Okay. Yes. By the way, what are the? Uh, have you seen what the experiments look like? I like what the your friends okay. look like. I don't know what you're talking about. It, it's um. They hurt us quite badly. Have they changed what you look like? No. Okay, good. What is wrong with you? I'm just worried that we just killed them. Oh, what? he's worried that the snake people oh. were kids. No, they were adult. But they, they elongated their, that's what Reynard said, they elongated their arms. They were human men. They were human men. Not children. 
Yeah, but they could have aged them. Well, I don't know. Matter. Just keep going. Okay, bust the door down. I mean, I kind of... What are you guys doing? Do we bust the door down? Oh. <laughs> Just don't Can think I, about that. Are the, all of the I'll locks and mechanisms metal? Yes. Can I try and melt them yeah. off? Yeah. While she's doing that, I just want to go to the end of the hall and just like okay. watch. Yeah, that just door. move around. So, are you are you casting heat metal? <coughs> um. Yeah. Where would I cast it? There are metal hinges and then the metal lock. I would say you can only target one or the other. You can either target the hinges or the lock itself. I'm going to target the hinges and try and then the door. Hope that the door kind of falls. I don't know. Okay. But I want to try and bring the door towards me rather than into the room. Does that make sense? Uh, as in you're like, you're going to try and get grips on it and then pull it? I'm going to the door is flush into the stone. Imagine like a door. Yeah. It's flush. But no... I don't want it to fall in to hit them. Okay, so you're going to hold want... onto the handle or something and then... And then try and so stop it so it heat, the, fall in. heat the hinges so that uh-huh. if it falls, I want it to come you out instead of... You hold the handle of... and then you pull it, basically. Okay. So you cast Heat Metal, so mark off the second level spell slot. The hinges glow super red hot, um, and you can see that the wood around, like the wooden door around the hinges is turning black and charring. Um, it doesn't naturally fall off, but you imagine it would now be much easier for you to literally pull this door free. Um, it would be a strength check with advantage. Can I try and do it, like, slowly so it's not as loud? Can I try you and, can. Like... That would give you disadvantage, which will negate the advantage of the hinges, so making it a straight, straight roll. Check. Just to crunch it off. You do have a plus six bonus. That's not helpful when you're shit at rolling, though. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> and this is just about <laughs> pull it off um, with the heated hinges. It creaks a little bit. There is a faint hissing and popping sound. Um, but yeah, you just managed to <clears throat> yank it off. You then have to, with your strength, it's easy if you just carry the door, and turn around and like, lean it against it like a wall. Uh, inside, you can see very squatted looking uh, cell, effectively. Straw pallets, um, a few buckets, which have obviously you can smell have been used as... Um, oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> as uh, <laughs> latrines uh, for... Three looking quite young, maybe sort yeah. of like seven or eight, and then one boy, probably about 13, 14, um, all wearing dirty clothing. Their hair is greasy and matted. It looks like they've not washed in a while. Um, they have cuts and bruises and look very badly beaten up and They're injured. They're not snaky. Going um, to the middle and a mass healing word for all of them. Okay. Uh, I'm getting angry at, at, the state, at the side of this. Yeah, I'm getting angry. They, they look really... You can even see that, like, their clothing, they have clearly deeply bled through parts. Mm. Uh, there are parts like chest wounds that have been stitched up and scarred, mm. um, like, as if they've been literally stabbed through the heart and things like that. Jesus. Uh, Masculine word? <laughs> Five. Five. I mean, All you watch them. as kind of, like, the scar still exists. Um, the bruises fade to, like, nice bright skin. Their skin gets a kind of healthy glow back to it. Their eyes kind of go wide. The tiredness kind of flows from them. They look up at Cam, and they are literally, like, looking at somebody who's just saved their life. Um, and the kids just kind of, like, look scared. They kind of huddle towards him. The 13-year-old boy just kind of steps up to you, and he kind of gives you, like, a, a nod, like a really kind of firm nod. He's like, thank you. Thank you. All right. Can well, I... Take one of the smaller ones and just pick, just pick, pick her, her up. It's like, like nothing. Yeah. It weighs nothing can, to your mighty arms. Can I pick arms. up a couple of them and you, just try? You could probably pick up all three and just okay. be like, like <laughs> underarm like towards the mm-hmm. where Reynard is. Yeah. And, uh, the um, the young boy kind of looks out and he kind of drops down into like a like a creeping stance. Um, I'm gonna give him one of my daggers. He like gingerly takes it and he's like, just to defend yourself and your friends with. Okay. Yeah, like warnings. Gather up. If you. Can you get these three up yeah. to the top of these stairs? Yeah, do you? Is there some? Can you get there? them to the lobby? Oh, I don't know where that is. If you, is it at the top of the stairs? It's the top of the stairs. Okay, I've and heard them coming and going from the stairs. I've seen them. Go through the open mahogany doors, and you in should. the lobby, there is a teleportation circle where there's a big metal construct and a lady called Malady. They're okay. our I'll friends. I'll find the lady. Right. They're safe people. Okay. Please Thank give you. me the stone. The, oh, yeah. Malady. Actually, she can meet them halfway. 
Yes, yes, do they? And you can, it sounds a little bit muffled now. It's like, yes, do they? We have found four of the children. Oh, good. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yes. We are Excellent. We are sending them up to you. All right. Yes, I'll look after them. Are you, is it okay if you can come halfway to meet them? Of course, yes. Should I bring Hank? Or is, do you think Hank wants He'd to go? He'd be too loud. He'd be too loud. All right, I'll call on my own then. Okay. Quiet, All right. Quietly, okay. Melody. Quiet. Okay, I'll be quiet. Wait a minute. Can I, can I hear this? Yeah. Can I insight this? You, what are you inciting? Just insight, you, I mean, you can base it on what you're hearing from Melody, yeah? Disadvantage, because you don't have a body to kind of mm. read from the body. There's something about it, I'm not sure. Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's four. Four? Ah, uh, yeah. You just, no, yeah, it sounds normal. Um, okay, right, I'll see you in a minute. Malady? Yes? What sigil did you use on the uh, magical guardian? I used my holy symbol. What was it? Well, it's a symbol of a Okay, cool, see you soon. Okay. <laughs> it's like a moment Arathis. of like, Confusion and then just yeah okay over over. Um, Arathis. The boy's just like, all right. So am I meeting this friend? Mm -hmm. okay. She will come and meet you um, halfway. You've got a Sanna and Jen. They they took them earlier. It's they're normally. I think this is normally the experiment time. Um, the professor might have one. The others might have another one. We're gonna get them. Don't worry. Okay, good. You focus on this group. That's right. your job. Okay, I'll get them up there. And he like like tears you to it, and he's like, right, hold hands. All of you hold hands and he grabs them and he starts leading them up. Be quick. And oh, he's very nimble. Like, he's moving with a renewed strength from the healing word, mm -hmm. but you can also, there is fear guiding him. He's like, right, fuck, we're going to get out of this. Quick, but also very quiet. We mm -hmm. don't no, know where he, they yeah, are. Yeah, he's like crouched down low. He's getting them to move, but he is, you know, the way that kids can move very quietly Slinky. and quickly. Yeah. yeah. Cool. They, they make their way up. Um, My boys go. Yeah, they just... <laughs> Off the, nice. off the All right, no time about the present. Let's find the other two. So go to the end of, back to the stairs, back mm -hmm. where we were. Can I quickly listen to the door before we come back through mm -hmm. and see if there's any yep. sound? Perception. Oh, I suppose, yeah, I would have probably been like listening as well. Okay, perception. Uh, that's a lot. That's, that's 21. A lot. Uh, not coming oh, no, from... sorry, 25. Not coming from the room that Elora is currently listening to. Oh wait, but we were already in here because we sent them upstairs. Yes. Oh. I, well, so I, I imagine door. that you signed a guide them out. Yeah, you don't. So listening at that door, uh, you don't hear anything, Elora. But Reynard, you can hear like a muffled cries of pain, like kind of like, oh. please, please, like kind of like mumbling and sort of thing, and, and like a hissing, somebody, a hissing kind of like woman speaking as well, like be quiet, that kind of thing. The no. subject should learn to be quiet, that kind of thing. Well, uh, well, the experiments are going on right now through that door. Through this one? Ah, uh, you think the closest, you think it's one. coming from around like, that area. In the, uh, a around. room off, so through another yeah. wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I quickly check this door? I'm just going to open it. Mm. Okay, constitution saving throw, please. Knowing that it's poison, <laughs> use, like, my cape to open the door. Mm, I don't think that was your intent when you opened that door, was it? I mean... We have done I knew it on that, every that was poison, and that was poison. When you give me an intelligence check, because <laughs> he's Cam Buckland. Is there something I can Natural do? Natural one. <laughs> I think is that there... Cam just goes like, gonna check this door. Can Ooh. I react? Like seeing that? Is he's in a, a different role? room. Like, yeah. Constitution saving throw, please, mate. <laughs> well, the thing is, is you I did. Knew. Trot didn't run, otherwise Trot would have said. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Uh, you can take 10 poison damage. As your hand touches it, you feel this sizzling pain, and you kind of, ah, and your hand starts shuddering. Um, it almost spasms aggressively. It's this thick, viscous liquid. You desperately try and wipe it off, but your hand's like this. It's kind of like all juddery and okay. racking pain. What's inside? Uh, it, you didn't get a chance to open it. As soon as you touch the handle, it like, ah. I'm gonna walk back, very angry. What happened? I, uh, he touched the door handle, look at his hand. Door. Yeah. Weird, momentary lapse of judgment. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you didn't, A, you didn't say his trot, and B, you rolled a one on an intelligence check. Let's carry on. <laughs> I don't think that's unfair. <laughs> uh, what do you do next? Incredible. <laughs> This is I set know. fire to their clothing all over yeah. again. <laughs> no, bad. that that one was unmistakable. <laughs> I will open the, the door. Yeah. 
Double doors. Juto is on all door opening duty henceforth. <laughs> doors. An adventuring party's worst nightmare. So you open up the double doors, yes? Mm. Leads into another stone corridor. Two wooden doors uh, leading off. Oh, I actually there is another one. Uh, this is a set of stairs. I forgot to draw the lines on. Um, a set of stairs that leads up to a more ornate looking set of double doors. Right. Oh, it's like a 10 foot increase. Huh? Stairs. Immersion. Yeah, sort of. You get the idea. Um, <laughs> so when we go into that room, can we check? Can I very, very <coughs> quietly listen at the door, like that so, door? First thing, if you move up to that door, stealth check, please. Bollocks. 14. 14. So as you move up to it, give me a perception check to see what you're listening is. And move your mini there, please, as well. Can everybody actually put their minis where they are at the moment? 21. 21 on the listing. So you hear um, the subject the subject's pain threshold has not increased. We will proceed to eliminating the target to see if they return once and more to life, attempting to withdraw the ex extracts using us. Did you hear that? It's one of those useless brood guard again. I shall deal with them. And you hear somebody oh. heading towards They're the door. They're on the way. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, jump into the corner, because yeah. I can hide in plain sight. Okay, stealth checks all around, please. I can't remember what hide um. in plain sight was. Do you remember how hide and plain sight works? Uh, it just means that you can basically, even if there's nothing around to really hide, you can kind of just. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't. Look Twenty-one. In that yeah. um, uh, it's like it's like. <coughs> and so what happens? The Emperor's new group. <laughs> uh, like, roll roll your stealth check. Okay. Well, I rolled an eight. Okay, that's fine. Um, you didn't get advantage. <laughs> Luckily, I rolled very badly. Okay. Uh, what happens is the door opens um, and you see like a snake head look out and just goes like, ah, and then just shuts it and goes back in and you hear something like, ah, wherever they've gone, they've gone, on, they've gone somewhere. Likely hunting around for scraps of meat once again. Honestly, we should get some new ones. Tell Heskis that we need require more They're about cards. to kill them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna signal to these guys. Get ready. And then... Ugh, what now? Ugh. I'm uh, gonna prepare. Just an like looks around. It's like prepare the prepare the soul gem ready for the essence. Yes. What is it? And then the door opens. It opens uh, outwards. Damn it. Which way? So, so, yeah. Blocking way. cam. Yeah, basically. But oh. you two's there. So I'm right there. Yeah. And they see me, I guess. They yeah. literally open it, look out, and then when they don't see anybody immediately, they go to look around, and then eyes lock. Can I grab them and pull them out of the doorway? Yeah, uh, it's going to be strength check to try and grab and stuff like that. Yep. Oh, well, okay, I'll, just, I'll wait until it's done first. 16! Uh, yeah, you literally, it's a woman. Nice. And she seems to be wearing um, kind of very loose robes. Uh, no, sorry, very tight looking robes, like sleeves that are like very narrow to her arms, long dress. She actually has a mask over her face, like hair piled up. And you literally, she's like, her eyes go wide, you grab her and then yank her into the corner. The moment she does wanna... that, can I just kick the door shut as well? <coughs> okay. <coughs> um, you do kind of hear like a, what's going on out there as the door slams shut? Yeah, so if, if I can, I'm, I'm kind of try and throw her like, so these guys can get a good. Okay. Uh, so you would just like literally push her out into view. Yeah. Or just grab her. Uh, what can are the three I, of you doing? Can I grab her and put my hand over her mouth? Yeah, string check. Anyone. It could sneak up at any Natural 20. Finally. Any Finally! <laughs> you literally just grab the... She is, like, struggling, and you have just got a lot down. Like, your your new found strength, bulging arm muscles, like... If I see a hint of transformation, you're dead. <coughs> Mark I'm, not coughing, her, I'm not letting her... I'm not letting her Her eyes go wide, but then they kind of focus into a cold hatred, and she stops struggling, and just is, like, silent and still. Oh, good. Compliance. Just like the experiment, right? Break her neck. Can I snap Whoa. her neck? You can make a make a melee attack, so strength plus proficiency with advantage. This is a bit rapid, isn't it? They're torturing orphans. Two eights. Know, but... um, so eight. Strength plus proficiency. Seventeen. Eighteen. Only limp. Okay. Can I check her body for like, was killing keys children. Or no keys. Anything? Uh, scalpels, knives, and, like some sort of tool belt. I'm just like disgusted. I'm like, ugh. She was killing kids. 
Go uh, I'm going to disguise self hear... as her. Okay, so you cast disguise self Everyone as her. Hide. What's going on out there? Go open the door. Okay. What was it? Ah, oh, those brood guard, I, I swear. They're learning to knock. Ah, uh, useless. <laughs> Perhaps there is some hope for them eventually. Um, I've heard screaming from the other children. Uh, likely crying out for some freedom again. Could Hesketh you... will deal with them, I'm sure. I want to see how this experiment goes. Do you mind? Well, she kind of looks a bit Come offended. on, it's my turn. Very well. Thank you. She like goes to leave, um, leaving you alone. The soul gem is prepared. When you're ready, just finish the child and watch the transformation. Hopefully we'll absorb the energy this time. Hopefully they die so we don't have to do any more experiments. Well, perhaps, and then we can go back to our business as normal. And she heads out. Um, she like literally leaves the room. Can I be at the door and try and grab Strength and do the same? She make a dexter to go away. I'm going to turn around and... Ah, oh, no, that was what? terrible. That was uh, eight. That's still better than four. <laughs> grab her, uh, but if you want to try and snap the neck again, it's going to be another strength. Can attack. I, I just want to cover the yep. mouth okay, to so start you... with. She's just like, there, you and... literally grab her. Hello. <laughs> her eyes go wide and then she sees the body on the ground and her uh, eyes... Snap. <laughs> what? Okay. okay. Uh, strength, so yeah, you're going to do the same thing. So d20 plus proficiency plus strength. With advantage again, or with? Uh, no, you didn't have advantage on the last one. Just okay. a normal strength check. No. Nope. Well, you should have done. Basically. Well, you gave me it. I don't remember. Natural twenty. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, these guys have so few hit points. You'd easily just be like, snap with your strength. I wonder if there's anyone we could get. Can we drag? The, can I drag the bodies into the room? Mm-hmm. You just pick up. I mean, you're so strong now. At this point, like just dragging bodies Where's is nothing. You just throw them in there. The child. Uh, the child is strapped to. You can see she's a young girl, maybe nine years old. Um, it's hard to tell. Uh, she is strapped down, leather kind of restraints, holding her down on a table, um, bloody clothes. Um, you can see that she's got various kind of like needles and uh, syringes like that have been attached to her. Um, there is a wicked looking knife just resting on the side, um, kind of crimson stained knife. Um, she's got a blindfold and a gag um, and she's just, she doesn't even seem to be struggling anymore. I'm like furious at this point. I'm going to start cutting the restraints. Okay, she kind of like I'm gonna she doesn't like she doesn't move. You can see she's trembling, almost afraid of like what trick is awaiting. Real can man. I remove her blindfold so that she can see us and just say, We're here to save you from Talus Val. She just she just nods. Very quiet. I'm she gonna just nods. Healing word level one, huh? Okay. Um four. Yeah, the she had several Eight. cuts and scrapes all along her like arms and legs. Um, okay. They, and her kind of like thing goes back. She kind of like reaches up, takes the gag out. Thank you. They've still got Santa somewhere. Um, they were nearly finished with me, but they took me first, so I don't know how long she has. Your friends are upstairs. Okay. If you go all the way to the top, there'll be a friend with a giant metal construct. He's friendly. Uh, they'll take you somewhere safe. As long as they're not the snake men, I don't, I don't care. The snake men will be dealt with. Just uh, look She looks forward. down, and you can see she looks down with pretty cold-looking eyes, like, good. Are you Sala or Jem? I'm Jem. Sala's the other girl. She's older. She's the oldest amongst us. Okay. I'm going to give her the knife, you know, the one that was on the uh -huh. table. She does, she like, as soon as you mm. offer it, she's like, does, she's like, I don't really want that one. Um, that's her. Me okay. and Do you have any lot. other ones that you can <clears throat> give her temporarily? I you fight anything. It's just in case. Even okay. just to threaten people with, so they don't come near you. Okay. You don't have to use it. She, trembling hand, she kind of takes the knife. She kind of like You'll be okay. You're the light bulb. On the top of the stairs, right? Can I pick her up mm -hmm. and take her to the bottom of the stairs? Mm -hmm. She gonna... kind of like doesn't really resist. She's kind of a bit sort of like ragdoll. Um, well, just like big frightened eyes looking yeah. at you. Can While I... Laura is doing that, I'm gonna communicate with Malady and uh, say that there's another one coming. Malady's just like, um, all right, I'll come and meet her halfway again. Did you We've get... got the others. Okay. Have you sent them through? No, what, what do you mean, sent them through? Can we teleport them to the Nexus? No, we can't. They'll kill. They'll kill. Without... be killed. Oh. They don't have scissors. <laughs> yes, that's why I didn't do it. All right, all right, yep. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take her to the bottom of the stairs mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put my hands on her shoulders and cast Cure Wounds at level 1. Um, uh, you can her. see she's not injured. Like she's Cam, not injured? Cam Hilda, okay, Cam Hilda. Cam Hilda. Okay, that's fine then. Um, um, I'm just going to say, just move as quickly and as quietly as you can to the top of the stairs. She just kind of nods. You will pass 
a snake body and you will pass another charred mark on the floor and that's when you know that you're on the right floor, okay? And then straight ahead. Okay. You've got a job. Once you're at the top, you hand that dagger and you get your friend's dagger off of them and give it to Malady, please. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And she just starts padding away up the stairs. She kind of looks back at Alora and now to thank you and then phew, carries on upstairs. One down, one to go. Uh, can I um, just perception check this entire room just to see what's... Yeah, you can actually, yeah. Uh, perception... Um, oh, I'd like to have a look around. <laughs> can I take the soul gem? So you look and there is an apparatus suspended above the table. Um, it looks like, kind of similar to the teleportation devices you've seen, this kind of metal lattice work, but there is a black onyx, like a, an onyx gemstone, um, kind of positioned. Um, it's semi-translucent and you can see that it kind of has not quite a glow to it, but like a dark hum, like it almost vibrates ever so slightly. Um, there are various kind of ritual looking texts. Um, there are uh, instruments that have clearly been used to cut and to, you know, do nasty things. Um, but yeah, there's all these kind of things around. What do you get on your perceptions? 27. Ten. The 27, um, you definitely, I mean, there's a lot of blood, like the table is kind of stained in it. Um, you can see that there is, uh, this was probably once used as um, just a workshop. The table has actually been modified for the straps. You don't think that they were there originally. Uh, you know, it probably would have just once been like a workshop for building things rather than like a, a hospital or an experimentation room. Um, but it has been adapted ever since. The lattice work has all been built fresh and new. Um, Is there any like, other things other than the construct that Juto's seen like, with the gem that are, that indicate Broken Sky, like, or just intel research? There's alchemy tubes, like test tubes and potion vials and things like that. Pastes, strange looking, um, kind of almost like conical flasks with Bunsen burners and things like that, like lots of strange matter. Is Any there no records on Yeah. Uh, notes. not in this room. No, okay, that's fine. Um, can I do some sort of check to see, like, the soul gem, mm -hmm. like, what it does? Arcana oh, check. 15. 15. You're not, you don't really know a lot about magic. You've never really studied it. You get the impression, I mean, the way it's positioned over the body, it looks like that there are some sort of like connectors or like some sort of uh, devices that kind of attach to the body itself. I mean, the name that they, you overheard them, Soul Gem, it, they, you overheard them saying something about it capturing essence. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps like when they, it sounds like from what you've seen and what you've heard that they were attempting to trigger the Lightborn's mm -hmm. ability and then drain that energy source into the gemstone. Can I poke mm. it out using my Quandel? Yeah, you just boop, 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 boop. And I'm just going to gingerly pick it up. Yeah, I mean, you touch it, it kind of vibrates, but very mildly, and then there is a hum to it. But looking through it, it looks somewhat inert. Uh, it just looks like it's primed. Bag of holding. Yep. Yeah, keep that away from me just in case. True. Mm -hmm. Very true. Huh. Um, Let's check the next door. Along. We need to find the next one. Uh, I'm going to go outside. Juto, could you please open this door for me? Well, just, um, I want to go out and listen at the door that okay. comes out. Um, 21. <laughs> 21. You can hear breathing. Uh, two, using elf sense, you get the sense of like peering through the keyhole and things like that. There are two... Um, You've seen them before. They have the heads of snakes, but the body of muscular-looking men right. with curved blades at their side. And they are actually standing at the far end of the room opposite a pair of double doors. They've got their arms folded. Um, and you can hear muffled sounds, like they're kind of guttering, like muttering to each other. Um, is, can I um, have a listen at the door accessible? Yeah, yeah, you just, it's literally almost like a set of stairs right, leading up. up and then there's a pair of doors there, like a small, like, ten feet stair. Um, the heads up. Can I we don't know where they use it, so can I listen at the door at, mm -hmm. up on the stairs? Listen up that one, perception check. Just wanna... Uh, uh, 16? You can't hear anything at the top of that one. Okay, I think they're in this one. The first one. Okay. There's... We're gonna have to fight these guys. No, but they mentioned that if the, the professor did his We don't need the professor, though. No, but he did his experiments in a room with a balcony. But we... For watching. Oh, yeah. 
That's a good point. I can't hear anything in there. But no, because it would lead to the balcony and they would be on the floor. But is it for him to watch over the experiments from the balcony? Yeah, in which case we need to go in the watch. Them. But I could attack from the balcony. They're guarding. Oh, you could attack from the balcony, yeah. If you want to go up there and have a different vantage point. In which case I'll go up as well. And we'll, okay. we'll go from there. Perhaps draw these two out the same way we did with the scientists. I can disguise as them, yeah. Do you want to try and do that? Do you want to open this door first, you two? Can we step so we don't, we're not visible when the door opens? So you want to open up this one? No, this ah. one. See where the hinges are and oh, where the way it opens. Ah, uh, it will open outwards like the other ones, same so direction. I just want to so open open out be further way. away. Okay, Towards so me. I'm going to open it that way then. So I'll open it for Cam. Are you and not going to go up? And I'm yeah. the Wait, you, we need her Your disguise is gone. We'll draw like, them out. He dropped his disguise when he was talking to the girl. Okay, can I not do it again? You can do it if you want to cast the spell again. Yeah. Got one left. No, don't um, Just try and should we knock on the door instead? Try and draw them out. Knock, 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 knock. You hear knock. some grunts, um, kind of muttering footsteps. I'm gonna back up next to Juto. Okay, the door opens. Uh, if you are trying to remain hidden, stealth checks, please. Can I grab him again? Do you want to try and grab him? I know he's probably going to be really strong, but... I've got an 11. 16. I've got 10. Okay. And you want to try and grab him? Strength check, please. 17. Okay. So this time the door opens and one of these muscular-bodied uh, snake men, shirtless with a kind of curved sword at the side, snake-like head, goes out. Elora grabs and pulls through. There is a kind of huh, from the other one, uh, like, ha, huh? and then the door gets shut behind as, like, Juto and Cam kind of kick it shut. The other one gets pulled out. You get your hands on him, um, but this one, it's not like, you cl- as soon as you put the hand over the mouth, this thing just tries to bite down. So it's kind of, do you want to try right. and risk it, or do you want to try and get bitten? Uh, right. There is a cry of, um, what's going uh, Quick! I, try, I don't know how uh, is, to step him or anything. Basically, you're going to have a surprise round against this one. But it's initiative. probably best we do initiative. And cool. I think, well, we've got ten minutes. Ten minutes of, we can do a round. Might oh, be ten minutes. Uh, oh. Twenty-one. Uh, so, these Natural things. twenty when it matters. No. I've got an unnatural twenty. So, Cam, what'd you get? Twenty. Hey, Laura? 23. Juto? 21. Uh, Reynard? 16. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. So you get a surprise round, um, and then you're all going to be going first in the initiative. Okay. Uh, so, surprise round first. Is it me? Basically, all, all, any, all four of you now get an action, a single action, um, of whatever you want to do. <laughs> As you've caught this so, guy completely by him, surprise. Right? You've got him, but it's not like the before where you can like subdue but him. I've you've you've restrained I'm him. Restraining him. Yeah, he can't move. So apparently. he can still attack, but he can't move. I'm gonna nod at Juto to have a go. Okay. Um, while I'm while I'm restraining him. I'm gonna like Do you have advantage while he's being grappled? Go for the uh Does he have a throat? Is he a snake? He's a throat, yeah, he's a snake. He's got a snake <laughs> he's head. A he's got a throat. man's body, snake's head. Do I get advantage because he's um, he's being you grappled? Get advantage. grappled? Yeah. You, uh, it's what, unarmed strike? Uh, Are you going to go with a ground down? Uh, what's 16 plus 9? 25. Uh, 25, uh, that hits. If you generally, if you get above a 20 on an attack roll, assume you hit unless I tell you otherwise. 11. Unless I ask you what you got. 11 points of damage and he probably is immune to poison. He is immune to poison. Are you doing anything else? Does she get Stunning a whole... strike or anything or...? I should have declared that before. No, I think you can do it on hit, it says. So you can I will stunning hit. strike him. What's that? Wisdom? Uh, Constitution? Wow. Um, stunning, stunning, stunning. Con save 15. Oh, yeah, he does pass, unfortunately. Yeah. Like, you kind of sense that you can, he's like, ah, as you like, catch him in the throat. Um, uh, can I second attack? You get attack? second attack, yeah, because it's an action. So any, anything you can do as part of an action, you can do. 19 plus 9. You hit. 
Five, ten. Ten more points, okay. Uh, the blows are striking into its body, cutting these deep gashes, but it's obviously a bit tougher than the previous things that you faced. The, the blows kind of create these great big bright neon green strikes as blood begins pouring out. Um, anybody else taking it? Yeah, action? because it's restrained, I'm going to do my sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Surprising. So you just get in there with a the dagger, stab, stab, advantage. 19. But hey, you hit. Uh, you can do. Um, oh no, yours is poison, isn't it? So it won't take any effects on these guys. Yeah, true. But I get an extra strike. Yeah, so it's. D4 plus D4 D6. and D6. Just the one D6? Yeah. Yeah, because you only one level. Level one, really. Uh, nine plus four. Thirteen. Okay. You plunge one knife into it. <coughs> Spits up a bunch of green blood. Level one. It's still the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're just pummeling, but he's like, he's got a thick serpentine like. Um, hide. Just Bonus get, action, get spiritual weapon. Although, and also, while he's being grappled, he can still kind of like turn his body, so you're like, like the blows on the ground are like striking his sides and his back. Oh. But you oh. still get advantage to oh, hit because I'm thing. grappling him, so you may as well try just and an hit him now. Get involved in the murder You are going to get a full yeah. round before he even gets to act next turn as okay. well. Okay. I think for you the first time, kill this one. I'm going to use my Helps scimitar him. like an actual scimitar. You're just going to pull it out. Swing ha -ha. at it. Yep, so you can make um, a full attack, so if you get two attacks normally, you get two attacks now. You get advantage. And you get advantage. So, 15 plus 8, that's a yeah. Yeah. Uh, 1d6 plus 4, 10, and... First blow cuts a deep gash into his back. Uh, oh, 18? Yep. Uh, I'll tell you now he has an AC of 12. And that one's just 5. 49. So the two, <laughs> it like cuts into him, he's twisting and turning, desperately trying to kind of deflect the blows, but he is bleeding from multiple wounds now. Does he look really rough? He looks pretty bad. I haven't killed anything peacefully. Just punch him. <laughs> punch him. <laughs> just want a nice piece. What, 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 what kind of attack would it be if I punched? Strength plus proficiency. Just, would I just get one punch? Uh, get if you normally only get one attack, yes, you would. Go mm. on. Okay, involved. We'll punch him. So it's strength mod plus proficiency. Natural 20. Holy Double shit. the dice. So it's a d4. I melted that on the wrong For way. an arm strike, it's a d4. <laughs> Double that. Nice. Plus Eight. add your strength modifier. Ten. Fourteen. Jesus Christ. It's on a punch. The punch bursts through his chest, collapsing his ribs. Um, oh. And you just hear like... Oh. And you just pull your bloody green fist out and the body crumples What happened to you, Alora? It's very not like that. That was more damage than anybody did with a single attack. And that was a punch. Alora's <laughs> newfound strength just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Oh, God. We're not done. Uh, the body slumps to the ground, but you can hear that there is movement coming from inside. Um, the, there is movement up to the door, and then the door doesn't open. Um, your turn. So now it is an initiative, and it's Elora's go. Oh, shit. I can't fucking open the door. <laughs> Defeated by a door. Just knock on it. You just mm. kick it down. Pizza yeah. delivery! Kick through it. No, I'm just going to kick it down. Okay. <laughs> if strength, I can. Strength check. I don't if know if I can. can. Natural 20. <laughs> no, 9, 10, 11, 11, 11, 14. 14. You kind of kick it and it kind of splinters and breaks, but it doesn't fully go down. Um, it kind of just buckles. You hear a kind of... <sighs> uh, from is there it. a hole that I can see through to see him? I would say that there is a, uh, a kind of waist-high hole, uh, and you can see there is a snake man who was stood behind it. Um, can I... So I can see him through the door. Mm -hmm. Can I cast Blight on him? I'd say try and knock down the door is going to probably be more of an action Aww. than a movement thing. And you have punched as well. That was a different turn. A different turn. Oh, this is turn. a surprise round. So can I shoot um, him? Mm, I'd say that trying to like... like Is the door an action? If you don't move, really? you can take an action now. I'd say that like your moving. movement can be trying to bust the door down. Because like if you think about it, moving 30 feet okay. is probably about the same amount of times going... <laughs> so can I cast Blight on him and not move? you can cast move? Blight on him, you can cast Blight on him. What, concept, what save is it? Con. Con. 12. He has got a lot of hit points. This might not kill him. <laughs> but Blight's Blight. It's pretty bad. Four, two, was it 88? 6. I mean, I was averaging about 40 damage <coughs> with Blight, and that didn't kill him. So, that didn't kill, that won't kill him. So, so many. if all of these roll 8s... <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 
33. You hear a hissing scream. You watch the body just shrivel and shrink. Be quiet when you die. Um, as it just kind of collapses in on itself. Behind the door. Um, and that is your turn, Elora. Uh, yeah. Duto. Can I open the door and <laughs> kill him? It's like you have to like kind of like pull it a bit now because it's kind of buckled. There's just this like ah, snake man with a sword drawn. Uh. Yeah. Just uh, yeah, I don't care if he looks weak. I'm getting some. Uh, you don't have advantage on these. Thirteen. Ones. Thirteen. The it still hits. So it's oh wow. AC twelve. Twelve. Yeah. It's a terrible throw. Eight. <laughs> Eight points. Um, no poison. No poison. It's still a snake man. Uh, the first blow catches him. Ah! Like, hasses out in pain. Desperately tries to parry it with his blow. Second blow. I would like you to observe my natural 20. Natural 20. Nice. So double the dice. Excellent. Double the dice. Yeah, just roll, roll the d8 and then double that. Alright. 5-10. Plus your normal benefits 15. as well. 15. Nice. Kills him just <laughs> across the throat. Does he fall into this room? Yes. Okay. But you suspect that there has been significant sounds. Um, oh. You can hear some sort of voice coming from uh, another room. Just what's going on? What's happening out there? Cam, can you imitate his voice? Yes. <laughs> can you? What? No. what was that sound? What was this room like? Because um, now I'm. Wait, There's no in? kid in okay. there. There is none. There yeah, are none. three tables, some of which are covered in blood stains. Right. There are more tools, there are more uh, instruments, but you do not see anybody else in that room. There is, however, a pair of double doors leading into another room. But Laura, uh, is there a balcony observing this room? No. No. Let's do the next set of doors. Let's just keep the snake bodies in here and keep moving. Uh, yeah, drag the body up. back in. The one that I'm we killed go outside, mm-hmm. back into the into this room, into the into and we'll that go in one. That way. Mm-hmm. You go up that way. Mm-hmm. Okay, go. Pincer maneuver. Go. go. I crab to the poison. Door. Crab to the door. Oh yeah. Can you uh, just? Oh, we'll use his cape. So wait, am I not going up into Are the? You going with yeah, you? Yeah. I'll yeah. use my cape. Yeah. Okay. Use I wrap my hands. Cape. It. I take a tear off a piece of cloth off the dead snake. Mm-hmm. Off his trousers. Off his trousers. Yeah. Cut off a trouser leg. With the dagger, yeah. and then wrap my hands. Okay. Okay. Bandages. So, uh, and so you two go up to the door. You open that, and it leads you out into a kind of very plush-looking wooden room with velvet tiered seating, looking down on a stone operating theatre. Or it's been converted to an operating theatre. It was perhaps once a kind of lecture room. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see that there is a podium that has been removed. Um, there was perhaps once like uh, some sort of like board that would have been brought out, um, but now it's been cleared and you see two tables, um, one of which has a 14-year-old girl um, on it kind of strapped down. There is a large snake creature, bottom half of a long snake, very similar to one you fought in the store before. Okay. But this one has a very elaborate looking robe. Um, it has a, uh, a kind of bandana almost, but it's kind of emblazoned with symbols and, and gemstones and things like that. And it is peering over it. It kind of looks up and then as you two open the door, it kind of learns to the side. Well, it seems some visitors have decided to disturb my work. I'm afraid you are going to regret that. And that's where we're going to end today because oh. it is time. Um, Bug off. As you head into the final room. Thank you very much for watching this episode of High Rollers. We're going to read out some donation messages Jen. as well as find Jen. out who the winners for the t shirts were. We did have winners who did respond. So, oh, great. Sweet. Congratulations um, to those two. Well, we're co- Jane, are you there? Can, we'll is find she out. coming? Jane's She's coming. Oh, She's okay. here. Jane's here. Thank you. Thanks, James. Thank you, James. Mark, do you want to read the mic? The winners are Poda325 and Jack33335. They were announced in chat, so they already know that they've won. Sweet. Congratulations. There we go. Congratulations. Can you let us know if you want us to sign them or if you want us to send them? I'm sure they will let Jane know. Yeah, let us know if you want us to sign them, because if so, we will make sure we do so before we leave today. Or sign a piece of paper to go or with Or a them. piece of paper to go with them, what if you that? don't want them signed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to start today, and it's going to go that way. Okay. Cool. Oh.
Killer Dagger donated saying, hey, just to say, to say hi. Also, just learned through Katie on Twitter today that it's Left Handers Day. Unfortunately, it passed midnight before I realized, so I missed it. Have a good day for me, fellow left handers, and never trust right handers. Right -handers both left handers. Best. Me and Chris are both left handers. Weirdos. Our Special house is a left handed handers. household. Uh, Nightjar donated saying, okay, look, no one died tonight, all right? Pretty please. Heading home, but train Wi Fi isn't good enough to watch live. Have a good stream. Don't die. But don't please. worry, Nightjar, because now you can watch on Twitch mods whenever you want. Yeah. Yes. And Yogg's Live. If you want. If you want to wait. Uh, donated. Uh, we have no message. Thank you Kennels, very much. Thank you. I'll do another one. Please um, do. Yogg's Body donated. When the DM's away, the PCs will play. Well, with our DM gone, we're having a Pathfinder free for all, a monk, two sorcerers, a barbarian, and a rogue. Care to I, make any predictions? I don't know Chaos. enough about Pathfinder. Chaos. No, I don't either. Murder. Um, but I would suspect either the barbarian or monk will win. I reckon the sorcerers will win. Barbarian, the sorcerers. Free. Spells are pretty good. Mm. Yeah. But they're squishy. True. All right. Good luck. Mm. Movies Man 8. Mm. Um, I'm in the middle of watching last week's stream on Yogg's Live, so I'm going to bring that up like it just happened. <laughs> being, uh, being back the ghouls that suck off everyone's magic abilities, rolling a 20 is a critical hitty, uh, hitty fight for the ass and titty. <laughs> every time. Always every, tries. Every every time. Time. Sometimes it's quite stretched, but you know. Uh, <laughs> Killer Dalgren donated. Kilaldegren. Kilaldegren. In all seriousness, I hope you're all doing well. I love watching High Rollers. I will be watching later on YouTube. I'm going to sleep now. That you all for the great D&D streams. Thank, Thank you all. Thank, Thank you, you very well. much. Thank you. That was terrifying. Tashi Tashi 92. First time I've gotten to watch the stream live. Just moved to England from Australia. Take my money and keep up the amazing Aww. work. Yes, Tom is my favourite. Hashtag Justice, Justice for Hazel. For Hazel. Yeah, go back what to Australia. Even... Wait a minute. <laughs> Tashy I, Tash. I love Australians. Suspicious. That sounds like a very uh, extreme way to make sure you watch the streams if you're Australian. Just yeah. move to move England. To England. <laughs> Everyone uh, in Australia should do that. Katie. Bam Goes d d has donated for all those that can't donate but want to. We love you, High Rollers. Thank you. Also, I have a D&D character, female dwarf with a beard, who can oh. only shout. Encounter with the pirate boss, jumped from a high place and landed on the boss. Natural 20, he died, Damn. DM cried. <laughs> nice nice work. Cool. Cool. DM, DM should be cheering. Uh, Sky Silverwing. I have to wonder if they would have had a better game, better game, if better game. Laura had produced her family crest instead. Uh, I did consider that, but I don't think, I think if it wasn't a sigil, yeah. we wouldn't have been able to. Uh, They'll never know. Her family likely had diplomatic relations with First Light before That's Lightfall. actually true. Also, on August 21st, there will be a solar eclipse across the US epic. Epic. Cool. Epic. Cool. Very epic. Thank you, Sky Silverwing. Uh, Jerk Off to Trot has donated. Go on. Hey guys! Finally caught up with uh, my, bleh. finally caught up and my first stream of High Rollers. Trot, I've got to say. Looking sexy as ever. Hashtag Dick Marvel. Mr. Dick Marvel. <laughs> Mr. Hazel is very lucky with two beautiful girls on either side. Yeah. Winky face hashtag justice for Hazel. And just to redeem myself from last time, TTWF to win. This is, they said TTG uh, on Friday stream. Tabletop Weekly. Uh, they, they, it even came to my channel to apologize, which you didn't have to do. You technically didn't get a compliment there, no, I noticed, I noticed that one, yeah. <laughs> You're just a lucky guy. I'm just lucky I've got, I'm is surrounded my, by beautiful people. my dice bag there? <laughs> this is mine. Sorry about it. Black <laughs> Nugget 06. Can't watch live yet because I'm still trying to catch up. I wanted to let you guys know that I really love the stream. Listen to it while at work and makes the day zoom by. Thanks for all you guys do. Our pleasure. Okay. No worries. Uh, Techie Reed donated. Uh, quarter Hundo. Thank quarter you very much. Thank you. Hi, hi, Rollers. Breathing a huge sigh of relief in the aftermath of the Guardian fight. Glad to see we didn't get repeat of the Uncharted Jesus territory. Christ. Fight on and keep rolling, we shall. Oh, they could have done. Oh, Fight I know. Mean at the end. Uh, Bros of Statchen donated saying, How are you lads? Hope you're all doing well. Haven't donated in a while, just wanted to share. I finally got a D&D &D group and we had our first Please. session last Wednesday. Nice. I've ended up playing a dwarf barbarian called Baradol Swackhammer. Love it so far, <laughs> it's fun. Baradol Swackhammer. That's such a cool name. Um, nice. The Nord's House uh, donated 666. Um, nice. Mahogany doors. Mahogany doors. Um, followed by Cam receiving a sending stone. Does not compute. Must be how the poor artificer felt when she tried to explain the pocket dimension. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lol. That was funny. Code oh. Den. 
Donuts. Uh, Wolfhound has donated. First time donating. Hooray! Thank you. Uh, just want to say that I love high rollers. You make my Sundays and Fridays memorable. I love all the stories Mark creates. Also, I want to thank Katie for being so active on Discord and talking with the fans. And Kim for just being great. Aw, thank you. Being in the Q&A section. Hazel? And Trot. So that is another, that is another thing, by the way. On our Discord, our official Discord, probably links in the chat, so I won't post a link. Um, it's there's official. actually There's a Q&A chat in there, and that's specifically where you can put questions. And we're not on a lot, but we will scroll through and the mods will clear them out occasionally so that if you have any questions, we will maybe eventually get around, no guarantee, but maybe answer yeah, them. Almost guaranteed I make no promises. Mm. I'm in there Super busy. Darth Dave 41 donated. Good old Reynard started out talking the talk, but I think dangling 50 feet from a magic flying sword <laughs> mid battle with a mech holder means he can walk the walk. That now. was pretty epic. Shame about the poor snake man checking out the pillows that were attacking. Justice for snake men. No. They were brute guard, right? no they were brute guard! Well spotted! <laughs> well, you said, you said it. You said it. Well, it. Snake oh, yeah. said shit. Yeah. Uh, man. man. Oh, Robert Gulliman. Gulliman. After Friday's fiasco, I thought today was going to be a bit calmer. Boy, was I on the edge of my seat. Cam, stop almost dying. It's cool to see everyone learning to be creative in combat, though. P.S. Kim, community misses you. Much love from all of us. Oh, I miss you guys, too. Robert Cooley, man. I should check in. Sorry guys. Oh, it's me. Sorry. Ace of Thorns has donated saying, new PC is back. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck, friend. Having flashbacks with the beholder type things at the heart of the action. Ooh, bad choice of words. Flash. Back. Mm -hmm. P.S. We remember Eric. Uh, our, <coughs> I, I'm not going to make Lame. it. Alec. I want Alec. you back for good. Well, yeah. uh, Metamoney donated $20. Uh, Katie, your dice are not cast anymore. Congrats. Ooh. Hulk Laura is amazing, by the way. Uh, on a side note, the changing lights are great, but I miss the old studio full of random stuff. Yeah. It was such a you storytelling room. Anyway, love you guys. There it are things going eventually. on in here. Yeah. Well, but I'll, I'll freaking show you. Yeah, show them. Yeah. Because this has sat here for weeks now, this is and what's nobody's gonna be come on the, to put it back. The wall eventually. So you're eventually going to get this. Bricks, yeah. But with lights as well. Is anyone, so it's can anyone really build? Cool. Does someone <laughs> want to come in and just do it? Could someone just come and build our set for us? Please? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, is it Mark? Kim? Mark? Is it Kim. me? Yeah. Dan Treader has donated. No one died tonight. Except apparently Allura's happy go lucky attitude. Well, when you're dealing with experiment on kids, I don't yes. really blame anybody yeah. for being a bit sort of like, oh god. I did think when I had her, and I was like, wait a minute, no, she was about, I just heard her say she was gonna kill a kid. Fuck this. Yeah. That's and then better. Juto encouraged you. And then it was, it's a no brainer. Right. So Torturing kids, the DM kill special her, kill her. activity. Thank and killing player activity too. I like burning. Oh yeah, you burn kids. That's true. Right. Oh, Jesus. Thank you very much for watching this week. We will return on Friday for more High Rollers Uncharted Territory, our special spin-off series Ooh. with Withers of the Coast. Withers. 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 Withers of the Coast. Uh, you can, can check that out. It's all on Jugs Live as well. Congratulations to the winners of Z. Ciao. Congrats to those winners. Z. Thank you very much for your donations. We will see you very soon for the epic conclusion of more High Rollers stuff. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye